Toyota Tato, no my heart of mine. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the championship game of the Asia Pacific and Middle East Qualifier Little League Senior Tournament held here in Auckland, New Zealand, down at uh, Fillet Field, Lloyd Ellsmore Park. I am your host, Samuel Lever. Sitting with me, my co host, Roy Antonovich. How are you feeling, Roy? Samuel Weaver, I am pumped for this final. These two teams deserve to be here, being the best two teams in the tournament, and I think we're going to get an amazing game of baseball. Welcome to the final. And those two teams, of course, are this afternoon, Korea Guam, and Guam. Korea. So welcome to Auckland, Korea. our viewers. Right now, to hit Who's to ever we South are, uh, whoever we are watching. And of course, our as you may have heard in the background, their way across. as you may have heard in the background, we are uh, the winner will go on to represent the, the uh, Asia Pacific and Middle East Second region in and the Senior the League the World country. Series over in Easley, uh, South Carolina in America. An absolutely stunning place. Now, New Zealand were the uh, champions last year. They got knocked out today, finishing uh, fourth in the tournament. Guam, of course, was the represent uh, representer in 2022, desperate to get back there, and uh, we could not find in our stats when the last time Korea actually went to uh, the World Series. So they will be hoping to be, in recent memory anyway, uh, to be the team to head over there and represent Asia Pacific. As our umpires take their position behind the plate, you can see that both teams taking their position on the mine. We will have, I believe, three national anthems today. We will have, of course, the host country, New Zealand, uh, followed by Korea's uh, anthem and Guam's anthem. Um, now, these two teams have been absolutely amazing. They're, they're gonna be ready to go today. Um, and as they are asked to remove their cap, I'm going to stop talking so that we can have the national anthem. A few little technical difficulties. Tournament okay, director Mark Irwin. Please remove your cap. He's all over it. And here we go now with the national anthems.
Thank you, and okay, for our listening pleasure for the National Anthem of New Zealand, we're going to invite Gabe Tohuru to sing the National Anthem. both of Guam, Korea and of course New Zealand sung by Gabe. We just have the plate meet for the coaches and while they have their plate meet, the players exchanging gifts. Uh, exchanging gifts, a nice little tradition, a nice little keepsake these uh, players can take home from the tournament, show their schoolmates. Now Roy, we've uh, seen both Guam and Korea take wins in this tournament, of course being seeded first and second. Is there a highlight from either of the teams that you want to talk about? Well, I think Guam have been the quality side of this tournament, Samuel, going through undefeated and really just overwhelming the home country, New Zealand, in the semi-finals. Korea, a little bit scratchy. But it's not how you start a tournament, it's how you finish it, and they will go into this confident. Absolutely. Now both teams possessing some amazing players, uh, stat topping, tournament topping uh, stat leaders. Uh, the likes of Guang uh, Won Park from Korea leading the averages of the tournament at a 667. Costa also playing on the number one jersey for Guam is 636. I mean, that is some amazing batting there, Roy. Just pausing there as Guam issues a challenge to Korea. Great to see. You're right, Samuel. It is amazing. However, despite those numbers you just rattled off, my player of the tournament so far. Weekly number four, the shortstop for Guam. He's really led this team. Sensational in the field at shortstop. Yeah, absolutely. I think he was the highlight of the game that I called on Saturday. Absolutely uh, amazing player. And of course, we were catching up with uh, Weekly's grandma before the game. Um, just talking about his dedication to the game. A real sports star right around playing basketball, soccer. Uh, American football but uh, once he's made this team just has given it all up to focus on baseball that is dedication absolutely and 
Now what a lovely lady is grandmother, isn't it? When you meet people like that, just quality human beings, makes it really easy to support a player like Weekly. Yes, absolutely. Now let's have a look at some numbers as Guam starts uh, their warm up there. I can see that's uh, shirt number two. Just trying to find the name. We'll have uh, our production manager, John Mackay. He'll be providing us with numbers, stats, getting the radar readings. All right, so that is uh, Javier Tai Mungalo up on the mound, ready to get this game underway. And of course, we've got who we were just talking about, shirt number one for Korea, uh, Guangwong Park, ready to lead us off. Biggest batter in the tournament so far. This is set to be a challenge. Absolutely, and no better man for Korea, number one, ace of the team. Gonna step in. Tai Mangalo. He'll back himself. He will. Now he's got one more warm up here. And then we'll be ready to get underway. Quick uh, prediction on what you think is going to happen today, Roy. Well, it'd be crazy for me to go against my prediction so far in this tournament. I've picked one. I thought they've looked the best team out there. I think they've got a nice mix of star players and cohesive teamwork. So I'm picking them to take this game, but it's it's not going to be easy, Samuel. Yep, no, and that is a very fair call. As Josh behind the play here calls play ball. Time to go with the first pitch of the game, a 69 fastball strike down the middle. Park just having a look at it. I know a lot of people in New Zealand baseball would like to hear that that pitch there was straight down Broadway, strike two. <laughs> straight down Broadway. A 70 mile pitch, two strikes on the batter now. Oh, a little bopper yeah. out to third and a misfield. This is going to put Park on the plate. Just a little bit of a, a, a miss glove there from our third baseman. Not a good way to start, Roy. It's a real surprise. Not used to seeing that. He's made some amazing plays this tournament. You see Weekly, though, such a leader in this team over there telling him, don't worry, we've got you. Absolutely. Next up, we have uh, Beckett. In for Korea, a wicket bat. As he sees a strike first up. The Korean dugout alive with support for their batters. It's going to be interesting to watch, Samuel. We've seen the ebb and flow of baseball games earlier in the tournament. Is momentum such a key thing? And if that little error gets Korea rolling, gets momentum on their side, it'll be interesting to see if they can put some pressure on Guam. Oh, and a big hack from Beckett there. Let's take the bench. Great, great recovery uh, from the pitcher to get record the first out. And that's critical. That's where a pitcher can help his own team out. That little error happens, the pitcher says, don't worry. Run it, guys. Yeah! Oh, wow. big hit right on the right-hand side of uh, second base. He'd for another home. miss field. Yeah. Calling him safe. Now, just to repeat, that went down the right-hand side of the, uh, the second stop, out into center field. Center field had a miss field there recovered and went for the cut into home but uh, Park just been in at home and uh, leaving the runner on second so Korea takes the early lead 1-0 fascinating to watch here Samuel the hidden run was called by the Korean coach and when that runner on first took off for second you saw the second baseman track across which opened up the hole would have been just a simple ground ball to second Hit and run, making things happen. Absolutely, as time along there, 
delivers a 69 mile fastball down the middle. We see a ball called there. And I wonder if this is just signs. One pitcher just a little bit rattled. He knows that if it hadn't been for that error, he'd probably already be sitting down. Would have been a ground ball to third, ground ball to short, either side of a nice strikeout. The uh, Korean coach happy with the call. No movement from Guan on that. I think they were, they understood that it was a balk. And there has been some controversy in those calls earlier in the tournament, Samuel, but you're right, no controversy there. Oh, and a big piece out to uh, right field there, just over the first baseman's head. That's going to uh, bring in the next Korean runner and the Korean batter sitting on first. And he is happy with that. Great field from number 17 now in the right field. A great recovery to bring the ball back in and hold that runner to first base. Well, and after mentioning that that's been a game of momentum, so momentum is all with Korea here. Only one down. Right, and we have oh, hit him. Hit by pitch there on wow. Jun Lee. Hit by pitch to put him up onto first and advance runner from first to second. Samuel, Samuel, we have our first pitching visit. And unbelievable, you would not have expected it so early in this game. No, absolutely not. Guam, of course, having some really strong pitches, pitches that are, are capable of hitting that 70 miles an hour pitch, um, and seeing some real accuracy from them. Of course, uh, in yesterday's game really dealing damage to the New Zealand team in the semi final. And here we are, the fifth batter in the game, and we've had a mound visit. Maybe just a quick visit from Coach Acosta there to settle his pitcher's nerves. Sammy, you've got some experience with Coach Acosta. What do you think he would have gone out and said to his pitcher there? He would have said, hey, forget about what's happened. Forget about the hit. Forget about the bobble. You're focusing at the player, at the plate. Don't worry about the field. Let them do it. All I need you to do is deliver to the, uh, to deliver to the batter, which he does with a 68-mile fastball just on the inside. Number 53 there, Kim, thinking, no, no, it's too far inside as he shows bunt on this next one. Oh, and that is a big hit. That is up high. Left fielder tracking it, gloves it, throws it back into second. Fantastic job from the shortstop there to uh, slightly over his head, but catches it, uh, jumps up, catches it, holds the runners in place. Uh, fantastic hit there by Korea. Fantastic fielding. Boy, oh boy, I can just feel the fielding. excitement in your voice here, Samuel. You're up for this championship game. Oh, I am. I'm, I'm already out of my seat. I'm loving it. 70 miles an hour there. Straight past Jang in the box. It's number two. He was batting number two earlier in the tournament. They dropped him down the order and it seemed to work for them. Ooh, and just foul. That's that situation there with him laying down the bunt. Of course, led to some of the controversy earlier in the tournament. He was caught out on one of those for having a foot out of the box. You see Josh, nimble as ever, behind the catcher. He was all over it. There we go, a little half swing of it. Don't know if I'd call that a bunt, but feel oh, and it's an overthrow at first. This is very un, uh, unlike Guam at the moment. And out at second though, the recovery on first, throw into second and gets the runner as he just tries to advance his lead, but that run should score. Absolutely, I heard uh, umpire Josh there just indicating to the scorers that run does score, so Korea taking a three to nothing lead. Three, three to nothing lead as Coach Acosta and just rallies his troops now, just saying, hey, don't worry. It's the first inning. Of course, this game going uh, seven innings today, so plenty of opportunities to get back in here. And uh, as we know, as we've seen, uh, Acosta, Alvarez, Weekly, um, and uh, the uh, number 11 player, Leon Guerrero, all capable 
of big hits in this Guam team. And I think as we anticipated, number one is going to take the mound for Korea. Came on just to finish off that semi-final yesterday and we saw at least a little bit about what he's got. He's got a, a sharp fastball, breaking pitches, really finishes those pitches, snaps them off, gets good spin on them. Absolutely, so he's just going through his warm-up process. I think I just see an indication there. Production manager, John McCoy, just saying that fastball was at about 74 mile an hour, right down to 61 with that curveball. Get ready here for the bottom of the first. Of course, first time up there, the pitcher gets himself eight warm-up pitches. And as he continues through the game and in between each innings, he'll get a further five warm-up pitches each time. Important the pitchers really commit on those. Work their arsenal and you see him here. Breaking balls, fast balls. Seventy-seven mile an hour there. I think we're gonna see. Ace for Korea here is going to be throwing harder than we've seen so far this tournament. Heard earlier a couple of the supporters on the sideline asking, has anybody been over 80? Well, could be a chance. Fascinating to see how Guam respond. They haven't been behind a lot in this tournament. Give up three runs in the first innings. will put a lot of pressure on. See Weekly stepping in. A sign of respect between these players. Just shaking the catcher's hand. <clears throat> know this boy Weekly. A lot of fans back home in Guam. Expecting big things from him in this game. Future superstar of the sport. Pitch very close, 74 mile an hour, just outside, maybe a little down. Of course, it'll be intriguing to watch what the strike zone is for Josh. We haven't seen him behind the plate so far this tournament. But he is one of our best umpires here in New Zealand. He's head umpire for this tournament, and he roars strike on that one, 75 mile an hour. He won't leave you guessing what he's called. Very decisive. Oh, a great breaking ball. Weekly reads it straight out of the hand. Samuel just doing his research. Firing up those computers here in the production trailer. They're uh, just trying to feed the mice to keep the internet going. Interesting here. Josh saying no. We're going to switch balls. Has a look at that one. Just indicating to the pitcher there that he coughed into his hand and then grabbed the ball. If you cough into your hand, the umpires like to see you just wipe that on the pant leg. And weekly here at batting 450 for the tournament. So he sees that one go in the dirt. Sits all over that one. That was easy for him. So yes, as uh, most viewers will be aware of the foreign substance controversy that gripped MLB over the last few seasons and umpires all around the world very conscious of it now so just change that ball over Park's fastball looking very sharp 74 mile an hour there I think we have a full count Samuel full count weekly pretty good discipline at the plate he'll be waiting he'll be wanting he's not afraid to swing Watches it, sail on the outside. Second guesses himself, has a look at uh, umpire Josh before he throws that bat away. And Josh says, hey, take a walk here. 
Well, it's a terrible feeling if you throw that bat, start trotting down to first, only for the umpire to pull out the chainsaw, Samuel. <laughs> that is true. Next up, we have Patrick Alvarez batting a 3.30 in this tournament. 12 at-bats so far with uh, four hits, but eight runs. He's got one RBI accredited to him. Sees a high one, decides to swing. Chases 75 miles. I think that was probably top, very top of the zone, but uh, decided to go for it anyway. And hey, it's better if you like it, you like it, right? Absolutely, although adrenaline pumping, maybe a few nerves. That swing might actually help him out. Just taking a big hack. That one, high again. Gets fouled out onto our top field. Field number two at the back here. We've commented a lot on... Uh, the velocity of these pitches and you know, those pitches that are staying at the top of the zone at 76 mile an hour some of the pitches earlier in the tournament mid 50s that'll be dropping down big meat pie oh and a throw back to first just to have a look keeping him honest he has been taking quite a quite a decent lead and as the pitcher starts to wind up is starting to uh, dance on his feet a bit so Korean pitcher there just saying keep you honest on this one. Oh, there we go a little uh, sharp grounder fielded by the pitcher but safe on one weekly moves to two never so had a chance go. pitcher never had a chance to throw him out there Samuel no, it's almost a swinging bunt really and you mentioned this lad earlier Evan Acosta Evan Acosta leading or not quite second for uh, averages, batting at uh, 636. I believe he's a bit of an RBI specialist. RBI, of course, runs better than and leading the tournament with eight RBI. There he goes. That's a big hack. That is high. First baseman looking. He's lost it and has gone foul. Just that sun sitting in that first baseman's eye as he ran to the right of uh, right of the running lane there. Kind of tied himself up in knots there, Beckett. Left, right, left, right, zigzagging around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now these conditions today are a lot calmer than what we have had over the weekend, Roy. A very little win at all. Korea will be happy about that. Well, both teams mentioned to me before the game that they're feeling comfortable in this. That 62 slow ball delivered on the outside. Fastball for Park, it's been up to 76 already this innings. He's slowly working into it. He really needs an out here though, Samuel. Absolutely. Korea won't be wanting this situation to continue. That was a great strike. Throw down at uh, third there, back up to second. Missfield by second. This is going to bring the runner in for Guam Weekly. Great base running, great awareness. Really unlucky play there by Korea. You can see uh, the Korean second baseman there really angry at himself, apologising to the team. Just uh, a little error in the infield. Now, we've seen a few errors, not so much from these teams, but um, particularly from Indonesia and Korea. Uh, sorry, Indonesia and New Zealand. Just a few errors creeping into this championship game, Roy. I think what we're seeing here... Samuel, as I think Korean coach is coming out and making an argument that when the catcher came up to make the throw, the batter, even a coster in the box, was in the way of the catcher. Of course, you're not protected by the box. You do have to make an effort to get out of the way, but Josh says no. And we did see him signal it. We saw him call it straight away. Gave an indication that he saw no interference from the batter. So yes, Samuel, errors, errors are, are what's hurt teams in this tournament. And we've seen it right there from Korea. See the catcher just setting himself up. There we go, Costa making contact again, but that is high and out behind us. It's still count, still one ball, two strikes. This pitcher really wanting to get a Costa out here. As we've mentioned, Acosta being a real high damage player. Well, for an RBI man, this is perfect. Runner on third. Fly ball to the outfield. Would score the runner as that one goes foul back out of play. So, yes, all he has to do is lift one out there to the outfield. 
77 mile an hour there from Park, really getting into his work now. Also, Guam runner coming in to bring the score to 3 1. So, Guam will be happy with that to close up. And that is called strike on the outside. Acosta a little bit unsure about it, accepts it, walks off. Well, whatever you may think of it, the one thing I did admire was the little moonwalk there from Josh. Sliding those feet back and then rocking out the chainsaw. One thing we've noticed in these last couple of games, the umpires have got no mercy on you if you're just going to look at strike three. Absolutely. And I like that. Absolutely. And here is the number 11 player, Leon Guerrero, that we talked about. Second in the tournament for RBIs, batting in seven so far. And batting at an even 500. So, again, another really solid batter for uh, Guam. At a perfect situation with the runner on third. Big swing at that one. Batting 500, that's amazing, Samuel. Absolutely. Those are stats that he can go home and be proud about. Uh, but a little bit behind in this uh, at bat, Roy. Well, we're looking at a different level of pitcher on the mound today. 75 mile an hour. Honestly, he just blew that past him. Yeah, Guerrero just uh, a little bit frozen in that box there, swinging after the ball had hit the catcher's glove sitting on I believe one ball two strikes now catcher here calling for it up and that is up That's as you called it up and out of the zone for a second ball good thinking from the catcher you see the ball up at that eye line and sometimes the batter will assume curveball and you can catch him flailing away at that high pitch Another high one to bring the count to full. So three balls, two strikes on the pitcher. This is one of the dangers. You have a little bit of a waste pitch on that high one. Now all of a sudden, after being well ahead, pitcher finds himself in trouble. Full count. Oh, and that is a big hit. That's going to get down on the ground, just past the second baseman to bat the batter. And he adds to his RBI count. Uh, now moving to first equal of uh, the, the tournament and of course safe on first. Guan, be very happy about this Roy. They're shortening that lead. Absolutely. Doing their own damage. We talked about momentum and I think Korea had an opportunity here to really get the momentum of this game on their side. See this young man parks. Teammates call him Ray Ray. Ray Ray, Ray Sean Parks. Batting 300 for the tournament as we see a throw down. I don't, I don't know if that was a legitimate throw down, just a, probably following the process there as the runner moves to second. I think you're right, I think he got halfway through the motion of the throw down and realized the base was already stolen. And then he didn't want to throw the ball away, so he just eased it in there. So the batting average might be slightly lower for Ray Ray here, but what we've seen is he's a gamer. Parks. Absolutely. He's a capable pitcher as well. Performed on the pitching mound. Shut teams down. You see that customary position that Parks takes up. Really crowding the plate. Borderline to his feet being over the line. He's challenging the pitcher. Oh, Throw inside, he's saying. Throw inside. Great discipline for, from Ray Ray Parks there. Awesome work, awesome work. Here in the background there, Guam supporters. Come on now, Ray Ray. Great to see. Supporters coming all the way down here. That one up high. Got Team New Zealand down here after their tough loss this morning. They're over on uh, the hill behind Guam there. Just enjoying a championship game, but probably really wishing that they were playing it, Roy. Boy, it was a rough week for them, Samuel. Ray takes 
The walk, takes the walk. That puts runners on first and second. Now we've got the pitcher coming up, Javier Taimanglo. And he's no slouch at the bat as well, batting 375. He's got three RBIs to his name so far, three hits. And uh, the one run credited to him so far. Here we see a mound visit from Korea, of course. A one run, you know, they went out to that early lead. Roy, 3 0, top of the first. Guam controlling this inning, coming back. It's now 3 2 to Korea. And uh, Korea obviously just wanting to control this, making sure that Guam don't catch them. Absolutely. That tough at bat there from Ray Sean Parks. Really had to fight that one out. Now it's a really quality at bat. Uh, just fighting out for a walk. He'll be happy just to be on base. Now as we do have a small break in play, just want to say half a day to all our viewers in Guam. Hong Yong Seo to all our viewers in Korea. And uh, Salamat Datong to all our viewers in Indonesia and of course a massive Kia ora tato, no mai to all our viewers in the rest of New Zealand and the rest of the world. We hope you're enjoying the show today. Absolutely amazing game and we're just in the first inning. Pick up the there. Second. Yes. Oh, sorry Samuel, getting a little bit excited here. <laughs> Championship game, can't help myself. Oh no, unleash it Roy. Obviously. I, mean, I uh, haven't been able to take a seat yet, it's just... It's, it's fantastic. Obviously, with all of those welcomes, it'd also be remiss of us not to mention. Welcome to the winner's column, Oakland Athletics. First win of the season under the belt. MLB season kicking off this week. Whoever your team is, stick with your team through thick and thin, just like I have, just like Samuel has. Yes, I've got my Angels, uh, Angels baseball shirt on today. Oh, and there is a big hit from number two, Tom Alongo. Oh, Josh calling the infield fly rule. All right, so that is two downs. Uh, runners on first and second. So wants to keep the runners, uh, or give the runners the opportunity to stay safe. So infield fly rule, runners advance if they may, but the batter is instantly out. Obviously, situation there, Josh. Realising that that was a ball infield fly is seen as a pop up that can reasonably expect it to be caught by the infield. Ooh, a nice there, but... little bunt there from number seven and a big out on first to retire the Guan side. I'm not sure the coach called that, he's slightly shaking his head there. An opportunity to get some runners around and it just didn't quite work. Um, but Guam will be happy. They shortened. Uh, yes, he's having words with his batter there. Uh, as a coach, Roy, you know sometimes you got to trust the player, and uh, you might make the call. But uh, sometimes they got a mind of their own, Roy. Absolutely. One of the things that I think this Guam team need to realise: this pitcher on the mound for Korea. He's he's also their shortstop, so he's an athlete. And you saw it there as he fielded the bunt easily. Throw it across to first, finished off the innings. Absolutely. Both teams, I think, Samuel, will be slightly disappointed with that first innings in the field. 3-2. Yeah. There's a lot of runs to be scored. Well, yeah, Roy, but, you know, first inning, we're now we're getting into the, into the game and they've had a chance to settle their nerves and... Uh, rehydrate themselves with a little bit of water. It's it's a little bit warmer here today than it has been in the last couple of days. Um, now both teams would be used to warm weather, of course. Um, but uh, you know, probably haven't been drinking as much water as they need to. It will be today. We got plenty of water here, thanks to the team at Pure NZ. Malcolm Vito and his team they've supplied us a lot of water for this tournament. A lot of water. They understand the importance of hydration for these players. I think the only ones struggling with the heat are you and I, to be honest, Samuel. Both of these teams look like they're enjoying these weather conditions. Absolutely. And just want to say, again, a massive shout-out to all everyone that's joining us on uh, the YouTube feed. A big hit from the number eight there, uh, but perfectly fielded by shortstop for a 4-3 play and a first out for Korea in top of the second. Just in case some of you watching this game are saying, 
Samuel gets a little bit excited on these hits. He is, of course, a major league coach. Played on a smaller diamond. Potentially gets a little bit excited on these hits that end up being routine ground balls. But that's just the passion that we love from the man, the myth, the legend, Samuel Lever. We see here this. I just love to see bat on ball, whether, it, <laughs> whether it's a routine play or not. No doubt. We're not here to watch uh, paint dry, Roy. It's number 50 here for Korea. <clears throat> Center fielder took some amazing catches in this tournament. Seon Chol batting 200 for the tournament. We'll be wanting to add, add to the average. What he brings with his glove, anything with the bat is just a bonus with this player. Shows bunt, takes the strike. Like I said earlier, there will be no confusion on the calls today with Josh behind the plate there. Very emphatic with that strike call. Korean, Korean coach uh, just giving his orders. Get that bat moving. Is that one's delivered high at I'm 70 below, miles an hour? Yes, up to 70 miles an hour. Started in the high 60s. Just easing into his work. Great oh, pitch there. Uh, just looks at that again, slightly on the inside, but in the zone. And there he goes, he swings it out to the first base. This is going to be three unassisted. The second out for Korea so far. One, two, sitting down. Let's see, as we go back to the top of the order, you like to see the top of the order coming up with two out if you're Guam. Top of the order gave them all sorts of problems earlier. So of course, Guangwon Park leading the tournament on six, uh, six, six, seven average. He's had an astonishing 15 at-bats before this game. So this is his uh, 17th at-bat. You saw his emotion earlier as he Crossed home plate to score the first run of the final. He'll be wanting to relive that moment. It it means even more to him, of course, being the starting pitcher for Korea in this game. So every run that's scored just makes his job on the mound that little bit easier. Absolutely. Now, Tai Munglo just really coming in high with some of these pitches. He's got to settle down, find his zone again. Oh, ball out to big centre contact. field. Contact. Centre field under it. No problem at all. Done with minimal movement. Great fielding there by Guam. And look at the Guam team. They're not too high about that. That's actually just what they expect. Yeah, they'll be they'll be happy though. They'll be happy that uh, there's no damage there. No extra runs on by Korea. Korean coach just as he's taking the time to recompose as he walks back to his dugout. Yes, I think. He's just, he's just waiting there. Just giving, giving his catcher orders, some instructions. Saying, hey, this umpire wants it center, center. And there's been a little bit of that from their teams, traveling teams in this tournament. And I've experienced it myself, you see, uh, in some of the international tournaments, Little League, they'll call a slightly wider zone here in New Zealand. Zone tends to be a bit tight. I've heard coaches accuse the umpires of asking a pitcher to thread a needle to find a strike. Josh is certainly, the zone is not like that. He's got quite a nice zone for this final. But the Korean coach understands you can't work off the edges. You're never going to get a strike there. All right, can't see any uh, any changes out there for Korea. So sticking with uh, <coughs> sticking with their team. And I'd expect that from both teams for the first few innings of this game, Samuel. They've got the uh, aces on the mound. Each pitcher has got 95 pitches that he can throw. Absolutely, there's no more 
maintaining your start, your pitching staff, your pitching rotation, you are going to be just, if your ace is working or if your pitch is working, you're just going to be working them until they're not. Absolutely. Everybody's getting plenty of days rest after this, so I don't have to worry about the pitch mark rules on days rest for another game. It's give it all you've got. Here we go. Another second. Oh, and a hit out to third base there. Down to first. Oh, and he's lost the ball. It's just just jumped out of his uh, glove there as he apologises to the team. That's unfortunate. That should have been easier. I think that will be scored as an E3. Well, this is an interesting one. Major League Baseball is, uh, would score that E5 because uh, the throw from third. Supposed to hit the first baseman on the chest. That one dropped short. Beckett, on the other hand, in his own head, that's an E3. He'd expect to be able to pick that. And they get him on the pickoff attempt. Wow! And you just hear the emotion behind us. Is it Beckett's father behind us? <laughs> Absolutely. Watching his son, his head dropped on that error and just erupted with joy once he saw that out on the pick. So emotions are high out here, Roy. And that's big. That can really change the momentum of this innings. Guam. An unexpected runner. High oh, fly Santiago ball. Santiago pops it up. Shortstop under Short. it. Oh. oh, miscommunication there from shortstop in second. Shortstop saying, hey, that's my call. Second baseman saying, it's my bag. And they've dropped it to put Santiago back on base. So they just retired a runner on first. They're Pitcher a little bit upset with his uh, field here, Roy. Samuel, I'm looking over here at the Korean dugout, and if looks could kill, we'd be calling for an undertaker. Oh. That coach is not happy. And we're back to the top of the order with Weekly in the box now. Strange situation this innings. It started with two errors from Korea, and yet... They've managed to pick a runner off to get an out. Guam still not showing away from that long lead. Oh, and weekly another great hit. Just beats the second baseman. This is going to send Santiago right round to third. The right fielder fields it. Big throw into third. That's an overthrow. Santiago just saying, you know what? That's fine. I'm going to stay on third. Regathers himself. Weekly up to second. Fantastic quality at bat there for weekly as we have seen uh, quite often this tournament Roy just interesting to hear this again the Korean middle infield didn't seem to be anybody there for the cut and I think that what we're finding here is that the Korean coach is not happy with that middle infield I think he's going to be looking to make some changes yep he's got his lineup out Line up out, ready to make some changes. Of course, talking through a uh, translator. All right, so the right fielder coming into third base and third base heading out to right fielder. So positional change, 5-9. So I got it wrong. I thought it was the middle infield that he would have been frustrated with. It was that third baseman letting the ball go past him. Taking the uh, opportunity and the stop play to bark orders out to his uh, shortstop there. Maybe he, just telling him to refocus a little. Maybe he didn't appreciate just the strength of throw there from right field. Certainly didn't appreciate the third baseman letting it get past him. Runners now on second and third. Alvarez at that takes a big hack at that, fouling directly behind him. Just getting some tips from. Uh, his coach up on first base there. So Guam runners in in the scoring position on second and third. Not just wanting to to uh, tie it up here, but take the lead with the two runners on base. That's a great pitch. That is a strike. Seventy three mile an hour. Down in the zone. I liked it. Samuel, I saw the look on your face. You liked it, and 
My word, Josh liked it as he emphatically signals strike again. That one a little bit high, Alvarez goes for it. Pops it up behind us. We saw this early from Alvarez. Free swinger, does like the ball up. It's great to see all you on YouTube there. Over 200 of you now tuning in live for this championship game. Massive hit from Al uh, Alvarez there. Center field's under it. He's, oh yeah, he did get it. He's throwing it in. Wow. I mentioned it earlier, this center fielder has taken some incredible catches. Look at him firing his <laughs> He is up. wanting, yeah, getting them pumped up for uh, Guam to go two down in this inning now. He is on fire out there. I'm amazed he made the catch, but even more incredible, he managed to hold the run of Samuel. Absolutely. No run scored on that. Massive effort on that field and got it in to a shortstop really quickly to make sure those runners didn't go anywhere. Oh, what a pitch. What a pitch. Looking at that breaking ball in a 56 miles. That is a 20 mile difference from his fastest ball he's delivered today to that pitch. That is mind boggling, Roy. I really appreciated the smile on the mound, the big smile he gave after dropping that in there. Another 57 mile of uh, Acosta taking a swing at this one and uh, just fouling it off behind him. As impressive as this pitching is though, that centre fielder, he is fast becoming my favourite player. I love the energy I love he plays the energy, with. absolutely. Do we see a fast ball here? Wow, Ooh. tripled up on the curve Samuel. 61 that one, so it's a little bit faster. And uh, career calling time again. I think what they're indicating here is that runner on second is relaying signs. Of course, sign stealing, big controversy. The team that everybody loves to hate, the Houston Astros, famously made the world aware of sign stealing in baseball. And this is um, not good if that runner out there is relaying signs. It goes against the spirit of baseball. It certainly goes against the spirit of Little League, Samuel. What's your thoughts on sign stealing? Yeah, look, uh, I mean, signs are really the only way we can communicate to our teams. And we do, do spend a lot of time uh, coming up with elaborate ways to relay our, our, uh, our wishes. Of course, now in uh, Major League Baseball, we have... Um, not sure what you call it, Pitchcom. The catcher is actually fitted with a communications device. The runner breaks. And that is going to get him in to bring it to a tie game. 3-3 three, three on a wild, yeah, fair to say a wild pitch from the, the pitcher. The jumper had to catch it, uh, the catcher, sorry, had to jump out of position to get that. I agree with you there, Samuel. I'd score that a wild pitch. Wow, well, we've had it all. I suppose the one, the one thing that will happen now, there is no runner out there on second, so there will be no sign stealing. Go ahead, run, standing a mere 90 feet away as Acosta drives us up. It is going into foul territory. Beckett is under it, and unfortunately cannot glove it. He was right up against the fence there, any closer, and he would have been through the fence. Didn't quite catch an eye Great on that, Samuel. Not quite as athletic as you. I noticed you jumping around out of the commentary box, hanging off one of the railings here to make sure you can see what's happening. I just want to be out there, Roy. Your commitment to your job here is commendable, Samuel. And that wow. one on the outside, but... Forcing uh, Acosta to, to chase it, really just wanting to defend his zone, not not wanting to uh, give Josh the chance to chainsaw him as we have seen him do. Real battle here. It is a battle. Well, Pitcher calling time, just I mean, use his shoelace has come and done, so this will just be a nice little reset for the team. Interesting here, uh, I didn't notice whether on the shoe 
that's what was actually undone but he's given himself a chance to reset in the middle of a big battle he's been throwing in those fastballs 73 74 mile an hour dropping down curveball at 62 how's he going to look to put him away <laughs> he goes with the fastball again Costa fouls it off. He'll be thankful he's got that protective shin guard on his left leg. Yeah, absolutely. Just Those can it really down. sting, Samuel. Yeah, he uh, just seen him do that little foot pump there, just to shake off any uh, any stinging he may be feeling. Typical for this Guam team, though. They're battlers. Oh, oh and a big swing and a miss. Fastball there. Oh, That'll Costa. finish off the inning. To sit. Guam down now, Guam, they, you know, they will be happy with that inning, I think, Roy, to tie it up, they didn't get the go-ahead run, even though he was only a mere 90 feet away on third base, but to tie it up, effectively taking the uh, game back to 0-0 at the start of the third, Roy, they must be feeling alright with that. Yeah, I think it gives both teams just a chance to reset now, the early nerves out of the way, run's been scored, but... Three all now, through two innings, and you're right, Guam, it looked as though Korea in that first when they put three runs on them, maybe they could snatch the early momentum, but these battlers from the small island country of Guam, nothing will hold them down, we've seen it all tournament long, whether it be their players, their supporters, their coaches, Absolutely, so we just see uh, Coach Park go and check his uh, pitch count. I think I heard 46 there, so 46 through two innings. That effectively will get him into the uh, finishing off the fourth if he keeps that economy up. And uh, we'll be looking at pitching change in the fifth, possibly. So Samuel, I heard a little rumour earlier today, I was talking to one of the supporters from Guam, I don't know if they were telling the truth to me, but apparently dictionaries in Guam don't have the word quit in them. Really? And we've seen it from their team, they don't even know the meaning of the word Samuel. Absolutely, and they are, they are a, a very determined team as we have seen in this tournament. Um, at times where they've fallen behind, they've been able to scratch back and get out in front again. And they'll be happy with how this tournament has gone, Roy. Yeah, it's just been a continuation of a great run of baseball from this age group. So, a few of the players here competed, WBSC 15 and under team that dominated the New Zealand team that travelled to Guam. Now they've come down here and swept through this tournament unbeaten, but of course, they'll feel it all means nothing if they can't finish this game off. Well, I was mentioning just before the game, uh, I think you were finishing up, Roy, finishing getting set, and you were saying, of course, Guam being the representation of the Asia-Pacific Middle East region in uh, 2022, they'll be hungry to get back there, back up to Easley, which, of course, is where the winner of this game goes easily in south carolina for the world series little league senior uh the little league senior world series there to yes. tie up on my word fantastic it's, part of the world i recommend whichever team goes get yourself up to the city of greenville go see the greenville drive play fantastic experience minor league affiliate of the boston red sox now of course uh new zealand being the uh defending champions bowing out so a little bit of work to do with that team there they'll be feeling it today Roy yeah, I've talked to a few of the players and as Beckett strikes out there high fastball just waved it and disappointed with himself yes and New Zealand team just the bit that they're really disappointed about is they just felt they didn't produce the baseball they're capable of you play well and you lose you'll take that on the chin but they feel they really let themselves down with their performance Samuel Yes, I'm sure there'll be a full debriefing later this week as well. And um, you know, quite still a young team. Still a young team. Many of them will probably be in the team next year. 
and uh, so big learning experience nonetheless but back to this game we see Korea one uh, one down on a swinging strike oh, oh, oh. and Josh thinking about that one no one thing I can tell you this fantastic young pitcher for Guam Taimangalo could have been easy to let that first innings get to him when he gave up three runs, but no, he bared down, chomped down, come back out. Career really struggling with what he's got to show. Ty Monglo here still going around Five with the pop up. Massive pop up, second base running in, so is third base. Third base fumbles it, cannot play it on to first, so that runner. Gets on first. Korea will be happy here. Looking to take back the lead. And that runner is now on the bases. Big effort there from, I believe that's Evan Acosta playing third. Oh, it is, yes. Ray Sean Parks over at first. I think he'll be a little disappointed with himself. It's probably his ball. Second baseman playing deep. First baseman probably had the best opportunity to make it, but... Runner goes. Big throw down, and he's dropped that ball, unfortunately. I think he possibly would have picked him there. That great work by the catcher, Jones. Yeah, straight up. Beautiful technique. Just clean pop, clean throw. Right there. Normally a good way to do it too, Samuel. Bouncing the ball in like that rather than short hopping the player. Gave him a good player that I think the throw may have beaten the player. Change in stance for the batter as he shows bunt with that go ahead run. Oh, oh, oh. Even a coster, I think his life just flashed before his eyes there. Of course, the bunt was showing, he came right in onto the grass. The batter pulled back and ripped it foul down the third base line. Heart rate will be right up for a coster at the moment. Yeah. Costa not, not approaching uh, as much. Wow, wow, wow. Strike three for the second out. And we know when the batter's in trouble when Josh starts to moonwalk backwards, Samuel. <laughs> There's only one thing that follows that up and sure enough punches him out. Jiwon Lee up at bat. Getting orders from his coach. Really trying to work that runner in now second base. Runner of course in scoring position that's obviously referred to a runner that's on second or third base and he goes. He goes for the steal, big throw down to third. Third's dropped it and he's going, he's going he's for it. Home. This is a big throw from shortstop. He's and he's dropped the ball, he's dropped the ball. Wow. Oh that is unlucky there. He was in position, would have picked him Roy. But just could not hold on to the ball. So you saw the situation there where the throw down to third just took him into foul territory. Couldn't quite handle that. Weekly covering across, look to throw him out at home. Of course, that being the uh, go ahead run that Korea was looking for to retake the lead in this game in the top of the third. Ooh, big foul from G1 Lee. <laughs> coach pumping him up. Saying, call hey, from the coach. There, you go for it. The call from the coach answered by the player. See the coach here imploring his player. Just sitting lower now, 73 miles an hour. Just down, just out. Lee deciding to sit on it. The one two count. And there he goes, connects with that one. That is going in. Short stop, pedaling back. Beautiful catch uh, from. It's weekly out there, there weekly. Samuel. Yes, it is, number four. And that, of course, sitting a career, but not before they could add a run and retake the lead in this game. That's what they really need to keep on doing, keep the pressure on Guam. 
Guam have shown they're good front runners. When they get a hit, they're hard to peg back, but Korea have got themselves in a position. We we'll just see here. Just seeing the coach again, just talking to Josh. We've seen this in previous tournaments, uh, Roy, and having the privilege of going to Korea the last two years. Uh, Koreans love to keep the uh, umpires honest. Oh, they understand the game, Samuel. It's a massive sport. I'd say it's a national sport in Korea. Yes, Josh just course. calling uh, Min Chan, this talented young catcher from the uh, HP Hawks, calling him out. Just operating as a translator here, just to make sure that Josh's message has been read loud and clear. Doesn't want any confusion. Not in a big game like this. Yeah, of course, Korea having sporting their uh, their own professional league, the KBO up there. I'm a fan of the uh, LG Twins myself, Roy. What a league it is! It's fantastic. You never find the opportunity to go to Korea. You absolutely have to get to a KBO game. I recommend the KT Wiz myself. KT Wiz, of course. Lots of New Zealand kids and Guam kids that have gone to Korea for the majors and intermediates. Uh, you know, going to see the uh, local heroes, heroes there, the Dusan Bears. Guam, just making sure that they're hyping their players, making sure that they, they realise that they're still in there. Leon Guerrero. Oh, as we see Josh. Animated, telling those New Zealand boys. If you wanted to be on the field, you should have won your semi-final. I think that's what he said to them. They don't appreciate that call, but they do get behind the line. That is a high outside the zone ball at 55 miles. calling strike on that one as a curveball gets dropped in there 57 miles I see coach of Indonesia just side the old box here as that's ripped to the first baseman no mistake from Beckett there great fielding by Beckett routine three unassisted for the out on Leon Guerrero I must say Indonesian coach he'll be happy with himself Leading his team to third place with a win over New Zealand this morning. Fighting spirit of the Indonesian team. Something that we should all model our, ourselves on. That team just keeps on battling. Ray Ray Parks now into the box. A big swing there, fell behind. Ray Ray just resets himself, gets a bit of dirt on his hands there. Of course, Ray Sean Park's batting 300 at the moment, so he'll be wanting a big hit here. Get on the base. Ray Sean Park. Just, that's ooh, up high. That is up. Third baseman calling it, telling everyone to get out of it. And just an easy pop up there from the third baseman. You say easy pop up, I say he had a little bit of a flutter under that one. 73 mile an hour, fastball fouled up, third baseman under it. Korea will be happy with this here, no runners on. Samuel, I'm not sure I told you, but I think I managed to organise a little bit of time with the District Administrator of New Zealand, Vaughan Wyber. Just conducting a little bit of business at the moment with his colleague from Indonesia, but I think he's going to join us in the box, Sam. It'll be interesting to get his take on how this tournament's gone. Oh, that will be good to hear. And, oh, and great pick from the third baseman to for on uh, the pitcher number two, Ty Mongolo. There, great pick. Yeah, he made that play look easy, Samuel. That's great. And Guam. Yeah, a 
think it will be a little bit annoyed about that. Not too many opportunities presenting themselves in that inning, Roy. Hey, not at all. Korea really doing the job. It's what we sort of expect from them, though, Samuel. So we're through three innings now. We'll be going into the top of the fourth. Career up. 4-3. This game's starting to rattle along now. as we enter the third, uh, bottom of the third here. <laughs> See the Korean batter here. Number 53. Having a look at the picture. The nerves will be gone for them, these players now. They've settled into this game. Absolutely. Do you feel, Roy, you, you called Guam at the start here. Do you feel Korea may have left the best for last, the way that they're playing this game at the moment? Oh, they've absolutely gone with their ace for this game, but I think that Guam, they've got the teamwork. They've got the individuals. You've called it. Couple of guys here at the top of the leaderboard for RBIs. They've got the bats to score the runs to win this game. Customary and field comes together, supports the pitcher. Korea just really controlling those opportunities, taking those opportunities from Guam at the moment. See if Guam can open them up as we resume with time longer on the on the on the mound. Squares to bunt, falls back. We have a 70 mile fastball down the centre. Better being told, you don't leave the batter's box. But yeah. Interesting here, situation. And another 71 miles fast pitch. And you won't want to back out of the box again, Josh. Wouldn't be afraid to just call a strike on him, squeeze the bump. Not likely with two strikes on him. Squeezing the third baseman, he pulls back. That's high ball. He's going to bring up a one ball, two strike count. <laughs> just uh, clearing my spot in the commentary box, I do see. New Zealand. Oh, nice hit there. Let just drops in. Oh, oh, and it's overthrown first. 53 standing up, having a look, deciding not to go. So just falling short in front of the shortstop. Weekly, weekly with it for over the first. Unfortunately, sailing over Ray Ray Park's head. Speed puts pressure on players, Samuel, and that was the case there. But as I said, I'm just got to back out of the commentary box. I see the New Zealand. District Administrator Vaughan Weiber just asking, can he, can he come in now, Samuel? I'll hand it over to you two for a little while. Oh, all right, all right. How are you, Vaughan? <laughs> I'm good, Sammy. How's yourself? I'm good, mate. I'm good. A little bit tired. I've been working since 2 a.m., so a little bit tired, but I'm good. And uh, how, how are you going, Vaughan? How is the tournament? How are you feeling about it? You were pretty happy about it on Saturday. Um, how are you feeling today? Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased how it's, how it's uh, unfolded, to be honest. Uh, always sort of a bit nervous when you host international tournaments, and, and, um, but I think the, the, the play has been, been exciting, um, and the team seem to, seem to enjoy their participation in the, in the tournament. Had confirmation that, um, that uh, Indonesia and Guam were keen to come back again, so I'm, 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 I'm stoked to hear, and let, let's add some countries and, and, and grow it. I think it's, 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 been, it's been a great week. I really, really enjoyed it. Absolutely, yeah. fantastic. So, just uh, there, uh, viewers, we had a small bunt right out in front with play to one for the out, uh, play at third, which sent the runner back to second. Uh, time 
Um, more teams is, is always uh, the dream, isn't it? Oh, no. We have two amazing diamonds out here at uh, Lloyd Owlsmore Park, of course, playing our games here on Fillet Field. We actually have another 90-foot diamond uh, behind us that's begging for some games next year. So, of course, the invitation is out there to, to all Asia-Pacific and Middle East representation there. Uh, what are some countries you'd like to call out? Well, I, I'm... And that is out on third, a stole, uh, stolen base attempt. They... The coach not liking that, wanting time. Is he calling... See my replay. I think he's calling a ball. He's saying that the pit, oh, in my limited career, I think he's saying that the uh, pitcher was a ball there. Josh saying, well, I will keep an eye on it. I didn't see the ball. That better is out. That runner is sure out. More oh, high drama. High drama situation here. Of course, Korea wanting to retain their lead and add some insurance runs here, Boom. No, to try to put the pressure. Both those ears. Coach Acosta out, just getting an explanation as well. Of course, both coaches just wanting to keep the umpires honest here. No, so I'm going to make two questions. Um, definitely had the questions of interest from China, um, Taiwan, Qatar, Qatar and yes, the Philippines. They contacted me and yep. wanted in. So, uh, yeah, so if we, we can um, get the dates out early. So the dates are probably looking at, potentially at this point in time, is the 27th of March, so the 1st of April. Um, which is basically the same time next year, so we still fit in the day of saving here. Um, and end up wanting to fear too, too much with, um, with lights and so forth. Yeah. So. But yes, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be, be great to get that uh, the second diamond cranked up and, and, and running for next, for next year. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, of course, uh, community, if you haven't been down this year, you're, you're missing an awesome time down here at Lloyd Owlsmore Park and I would highly encourage you to come down next year or uh, get involved as well Vaughan. Absolutely, yeah. The, these things don't happen without good people and uh, I'll just take my hat, take my hat off and, and, and a massive thanks to our, to, to our list of volunteers that have come down here and dedicated this time during this week. Um, without them, the, these these things aren't possible. So, you know, a, a massive a massive thank you, you know, from the umpires, scorers, you know, grounds crew, and, uh, and and the and the setup guys each morning. And uh, of course, Roy with his um, with his impressive commentary. So, uh, it's, it's always it's always good to have all these like-minded, um, passionate people who love the game um, involved. In it. Hey, absolutely, absolutely. Takes a village to raise a child, they say. It takes a community to run a sport. Big hit there from number eight, Caden. Going foul, left field there. Of course, Samuel, you do have to mention the district administrator is also a volunteer position. And uh, from us here in the commentary box, it's a massive thank you to you, Vaughan. Getting this tournament down here, we're so thankful for it. Showcase this great part of the world. Solid hit to short base, short stop. Great throw. And out for a 6-3 play. Fantastic play. And of course, this isn't the end of Little League uh, tournaments here. Vaughan, of course, uh, next, not next week, but the week after, we yep. have uh, the majors and uh, juniors doing the regional challenge, Auckland Correct. versus Wellington. Yes, Wellington will be tra travelling up for uh, our, the qualifying, New Zealand qualifying tournament, which will be from Saturday 13th through to the Monday the 15th. Um, so I'm ho hoping for a, a, a good competitive game to see who's, who, who wins the right to go to Korea this year um, and represent um, New Zealand at the junior level. And, and uh, majors level. Ma majors is, is already no determined. challenge. No challenge. So uh -huh. Auckland, Auckland will be um, will be travelling for that. 
and nice then, to, to, of course that's the Hoesong yep. Dream Park up in Korea which uh, we had well all three of us had the privilege of traveling to last year um, and though you have to admit are impressive facilities fantastic facilities yeah considering that they what, eight diamonds and, and, and built in 12 months it, uh, it was a, a mammoth effort and the results fantastic yeah absolutely and how are you feeling about this junior challenge uh, of course you're the New Zealand district administrator so so no favorites but uh, between Auckland Wellington have you heard how both camps are going is there any oh, confidence oozing from one particular camp than oh, the other I think that yeah the, the preps the preps are always hard and you, you talk you talk to the coaches and the, and they're all, you know, no one's super confident that, that they can you know, one, one advantage the other so for me is I'd like to just a good close fought challenge and and, uh, and we get to showcase what's uh, some quality baseball for for, 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 for under 14 kids and and uh, that, that's for me is, is, is an important thing. This is our first year that we've run nationwide with, with the league rules um, and a true um, interleague challenges and that's what I'd like to see grow and develop with hopefully with um, Teitao Ehu um, joining in and coming in and being part of that for next year. Um, as we continually grow and develop this, you know, the, the little league game and, and the little league franchise in general. It's the way forward for me. Um, it's, it's a great organisation um, and great resources to be able to, to, to um, draw on to grow and develop your clubs and, and regions. And, you know, love to see it sort of from Southland to Northland and um, I'm, I'm hoping over the, over the years we can really achieve that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I speak for myself and I'm sure I speak for the rest of the community. It's amazing to be part of. If you're tuning in and you've never watched baseball in New Zealand, oh, and there is a uh, slight misfield from shortstop there. Put the runner, Guam Batter, on first base. Uh, make sure you hit uh, baseballnz.co.nz. Check out where your local club is and get involved. Amazing sport. Amazing community. Hear the loud call behind us. Got him. No, you didn't. Thinking they got the pick there. Of course, that's KG down uh, in the uh, first first base umpire today, and we've got Paul over at third. And uh, simply David over on uh, second base there. So big thank you to our umpires being down here all weekend. Of course, Carlo uh, can't see Carlo here today, but. Been uh, been a busy weekend for the umpires, getting some international games under their belt. International baseball in our backyard. How good is this? Big swing, big miss, and a stolen base onto second. 68 miles from the pitcher. Catcher just taking some instructions from his coach. So Vaughan, we've talked a lot about the baseball. Of course, this tournament, all New Zealand umpires. And I know that in the Little League tournaments, they do encourage umpires to travel. So will New Zealand be looking to send umpires off to these international tournaments? Well, from my, my long vault with the league, which spans a decade and, or more, all in favour of um, each team who, who attends the tournament that uh, each team takes an takes umpire with them. It uh, helps umpire develop within, within the country. Also enables uh, our, our coaches in, in, as well to get that international experience. 
um, and get that next level umpiring under the belt because we do also have the opportunity to um, put our umpires forward for the Little League World Series, uh, which we have done, but I would like to see that number grow and, and enable not only ours um, but others in the Asia Pacific Middle East region to um, be able to do, get the opportunity to do that. So, no high viewers, um, if you're attending to them, take, bring, bring an umpire. Um, it, it, it helps um, It helps all, all parts of the game. As we see, runner now advancing to third. So what you're saying here, Vaughan, is our local community here in New Zealand, if you want to get into the sport, you want to get into umpiring, there's actually an opportunity Absolutely. through the Little League program that you can become an international umpire. Great opportunity. Love to see more umpires in the game. <laughs> Over 250 of you watching this championship game today. Let us know how you're enjoying it. Who are you going for? Send a message of support to your teams in the chat. Just seen the switch here. Shortstop and third base. I must admit, as I've been watching it, I have been quite surprised at the huge gap between shortstop and Third base, shortstop playing up the middle. So we now right, back to the action after that change. That is high. Exactly where the catcher was calling for it though. He was hoping to catch him chasing. So Vaughan as well as umpires, if we're looking at, at parents or just generally baseball fans in general, the other volunteer roles that can potentially turn into international roles? Well, there's also now um, uh, opportunities with, with, your, with your scorers. Um, obviously we had a number of scorers involved with the two of Tara when the franchise was running and that was the opportunity for our, for our, for our top, top level scorers to be involved with it. Um, and, and again, as we, as we do uh, continue to have more involvement with Australia, there's opportunities over there to uh, attend tournaments and, and be, being part of that. So there's, there's, there's facets of all, all our elements of the game, from, from umpiring to scoring, and, and obviously the, you know, the one that's close to my heart is, is, the, is the coaching side of things. So. Yeah, I started with, with my son when he was eight and, and, and hadn't, hadn't been involved in place at all, sort of thing. But I fell in love with the game, got involved with it, and, um, and, and as I say, the rest of it's history, sort of thing. And so there's lots of opportunities to get out there and, and to take even, even your coaching career to, career to international level um, if you're keen and, and passionate for the game. So it, it, it's, it's up to you what you want to do. All right, so Korea just issuing a walk there, and we're going to see uh, Villanova take over as a pinch runner on first runners on the corners for Guam. Guam, of course, wanting to uh, get back tying this game or potentially taking uh, the lead. So the tying run on third base, the go-ahead run on first. So if you like the idea of some of those opportunities that Vaughan's talking about, whether it be a player, a coach, an umpire, a scorer, just to volunteer in the sport, maybe join one of the grounds crews and best thing to do, go to Baseball New Zealand and through that you can find local clubs in your region and clubs are always calling out for more good people. What a great sport it is. Absolutely. Look off the team tap first. This pitcher backs himself. He's not worried about picking off at first, even with a runner on third. Sometimes pitcher might struggle a bit with the control. Gets a bit worried about doing that. Go here. No, he stays in. There's a hit. Pop up. Easy pop up. Yep. Easy into the second baseman. No communication issues this time. Of course, we saw that <laughs> earlier with the Korean team. Yeah. As we see the top of the order come back to the plate weekly his third at bat of the game <clears throat> you don't want to see this man at the plate with runners in scoring position 
Samuel, I believe we only have one out in this innings. No, that was our first out. Yes, it was. So, weekly looking to bat in these RBIs. Again, as I mentioned, the tying run on third base, the go-ahead run on first. Weekly will be looking to get them both in. Another, another pick off at first. You can hear Guan calling ball. As he uh, just with the old uh, fake throw. Another, another time from the, uh, from the coach here. Calling is uh, in field. A lot of emotion in this game. Yeah, the players calling telling, out. Telling us uh, picture to get back on the mound. The job's not done here yet. Once again, we see this young catcher, Min Chan Kim, of local Howard Hawks out there, interpreter. Not sure quite why he needs to interpret a message amongst the Korean team, but just loving to be involved there, Roy. He loves the game. Absolutely loves the game. Quite a big meeting there. Again, we, we saw this in the previous inning. Uh, we saw this in the previous inning, Roy. Just Korean coach really wanting to make sure that they don't lose the lead here. Glad that you're with me for this game, Samuel. I think a big meeting like that, if Mike Kovic had been here, he'd be running a cup of tea out for them. <laughs> Could go for a cup of coffee, to be honest. <laughs> I do love me coffee. One, things that I, one thing that I loved about Korea, the, uh, the wide range of cold coffees available in the uh, local fridges. Guam coach is frustrated here. Runners on first and third. I believe he had signalled the runner at first to take off. And he's still parked up over there, which keeps the double play in order. Really keeping that first base runner, uh, keeping them honest. Big risk, of course, if they uh, just a slight misthrow, as we've seen earlier, could get that third run, that third base runner in. Well, you've called it, Samuel. It's been the errors that have made the difference in this tournament. Runner goes. Runner goes. Yes, onto second. Catcher frustrated with himself. Drop pitch from the catcher. Runners now at second and third. Obviously takes a double play out of play. It's an impressive young man weekly still at the dish. Looking also to do damage. That first base for a, a drop third strike for it. So something that they might be thinking about here. Whew. Bringing back bad memories with that, Samuel. We saw that a couple of times from New Zealand team in the third place playoff. Indonesia taking advantage of it. A little shiver up my spine as you mention it. Whoa, that's right, right on the inside. Weekly, uh, not a fan of it. Of course, that is Sharp the other thing. Look at the picture. It's the other thing that the open first place does do. 76 mile an hour fastball up and in, and uh, he didn't need to put one in the middle of the zone. He had a place to put him. And now our situation is we've got a force play at every base. Yes, base is loaded as Alvarez comes to the plate. Korean infield stays back. Alvarez, of course, batting 3.30 for the tournament, so Confident at bat. Korea will be looking to turn a double play up the middle. Corner's probably coming home. Oh, and a big swing and a miss there from Alvarez. Just that blows it past him. 75 mile fastball. Nice feature! Yeah, loud call there. Nice pitcher. A lot of support for Korea, a lot of support for Guam. High and away. 
73 miles. Plenty of neutrals in the crowd, just appreciating good baseball. And we've seen good baseball today, Samuel. Oh, we have. I still haven't taken a seat. Just not wanting to miss any of this action. Possibly an indication of the facilities we're dealing with here. Not many seats around. That is good defensive batting there. Alvarez just fouling it off, protecting his zone. Doesn't want to see that chainsaw from Josh. Oh, if he starts a moonwalk, there's only one thing coming after that. Two strikes on him. Pace is loaded, but will Park still throw that curve ball? No, he doesn't. He goes, my best, your best. See if you can hit it. 73 miles on the inside. Alvarez looking at it. And Josh calling it up. As soon as the moonwalk started, I just saw Samuel Lever shaking his head, knowing what's coming next. Boom, punched him out. Punch him out. Don't go looking at it with Josh behind there. on the outside. Korea liked it. Josh, not so much. Guam, still a lot of noise coming from their dugout, supporting their batters, supporting the bases loaded situation here. Wouldn't expect anything else at this stage in the tournament. It's all on the line. We've got RBI leader Acosta at the plate. Oh, and that's a cut right back. Oh, of course, just a little reminder, winner of this game. Off to Easley, South Carolina, represent our region in the World Series. What an honor. Trip that I'd love to make at some stage, Roy. Well, you're not going to do it as a player at your age, Samuel, so it's going to be as a coach. Maybe an umpire, a senior umpire, and it's pretty sharp. Some days. I will say, Costa showing patience at the plate. Much like Josh, you're pretty brutal with the chainsaw, Samuel. Oh yeah. Show great disdain for anybody who looks at a strike. Love to ring him up. Love to ring him up. Oh! Rip to left field. Takes it all. That's how. That is, is that the first That's home gone. run of the tournament? That is gone. The first home run of the tournament, a grand slam for number one batter, Acosta. Holy heck, what did we just witness? Signal there, that is not a home run. Well, it looks like they are calling this back, so initial call was a home run. Umpires gathering. I believe this is going to be called a ground rule double. We are seeing plenty of parents up on the mound there, uh, on the hill, in left field there, saying, no, no, it bounced over, which of course would be a ground rule double. So that would bring... Yes, thank you. Umpires two, get together. Yep, that brings two runners back home to the plate. Acosta going to second. First baseman oh, to third. Second and my third. Word. Coming across. We will get a scoring update. I believe that will be 5-4 to Guam. Taking the lead for the first time in this game. Boy, now Roy, you mentioned earlier how much momentum can shift in this game. Are we seeing a slight momentum shift here? Well, absolutely. That was a massive hit. Sigh of relief coming all the way from West Auckland. Of course, Mike Kovic had promised a baseball burger if anybody could hit one over the fence. And it almost happened right there. Would have been a grand slam instead, two run score. Massive hit. Guam take the lead, 5 4.
when Acosta just adds to his lead at the top of the RBI total, Samuel. Absolutely, I believe that's his third RBI of the day, Roy. Very much securing his lead. Probably finish this tournament as the leader of RBIs. Also, possibly taking the leader of RBIs. Oh, sorry, of average. Let's get some updated stats for you towards the end. That is the picture. Picture is done. As we see, first baseman Beckett taking the mound for Korea. Interesting situation here. Korea looking to go pitcher to catcher. However, he has thrown too many pitches. You hear the umpires there trying to explain it to him. You've thrown 76 pitches. Of course, this also falls within the pitch mark rules, looking after players arms. He is not happy about this ruling. Park not happy. Nice, Josh. Plate Josh, uh, plate umpire Josh just out there explaining that to the uh, umpire, uh, explaining that to the coach. The Korean coach out there saying, saying I know the rules. <laughs> of course the number one part not wanting to uh, not wanting to leave that catcher's box just yet. Interesting, Park. Been one of the better shortstops in this tournament. I wouldn't be particularly disappointed if I was career about him moving into the shortstop position. Well, Samuel, we've had a lot of this this tournament. Been some long games. I can confirm we've just gone past 30 hours of baseball for the tournament. It's a oh, lot of baseball. Lee. I, uh, I'm not complaining though, Roy. I'm, I'm happy with uh, 30 hours of baseball. Of course, we called that marathon game on Friday, on Sunday. Four started hours. Started on Friday, ended on Sunday. Five <laughs> hours of baseball. Four hours and 58 minutes, I think, was the official timing. That was a challenge and a half, but. It's interesting. Time one, of the, by. one of the things that some of these international teams. One of the questions they ask when they have to fly this far for a tournament is will we get enough baseball? I can confirm yes, there has been enough baseball. Who's ball? Who's ball? <laughs> Getting heckled here. District Administrator from Indonesia, commonly referred to as Roy Number 2. He calls himself Roy number one and I must admit I'd put him in the number one position. Alright, so still a lot of discussion uh, coming in with Josh and uh, the coach of Korea. Just wanted to get onto the same page with the rule book. Of course. With pitch smart rule, you can't put the pitcher in to catcher. See here, the Guam team huddled together. Great spirit in this team. Little island nation. Coach not wanting to leave the diamond because timeout will be up. Yeah. 
and the fourth inning, whatever ball he receives, even if it's only one ball. Okay. We've got the Indonesian team sitting down on the Korean side, the New Zealand team sitting down on the Guam side. Both teams obviously would have preferred to be playing in this game, but that's the way it goes in tournament play. Only two teams can make the final, only one team can win the championship. Looks like the original catcher is kidding up here. <laughs> The, the, the and, uh, number one part yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 might yeah, yeah. be uh, yeah, yeah, getting yeah, yeah. out to another position after being told he can't <laughs> catch. Must be small. Must be small. For us, we have to put inside the fence. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not often that Samuel Lever is lost for words, but I believe he is definitely lost for words here. If we switch to the wrong camera after that comment, it could be uh, all over for us here. It's a family show. It is, with over 250 people watching at this point. And they will be on the edge of their seats here as Guam has taken the lead after that massive hit from Evan Acosta. Some people thought it had cleared the fence. Pretty clear from, I believe it's one of the grounds crew out there that jumped up, gave the signal. Right, it looks Two like bases, he said. Number one part is going to uh, first base after being told. Interesting situation here. As I said earlier, he was a sensational shortstop for most of this tournament. He's now been put into first base. Clearly he can do it all. As we hear superfan Jordan, team mascot for Korea, starting to try to lift the team, trying to get the dancing back going. Sun comes back out here in Auckland. Beautiful conditions down here at Follett Field. Wicket takes the first of his warm ups. And Korean coach here looking in. Just be seeing what his pitch has got today. Obviously, these players have to work hard during this tournament. Game number five for both of these teams. Guam, of course, unbeaten in five. Korea only the one loss that was to Guam. Which one am I looking at? No hitter. Eight career start. One on the ankle. Falls off for no hitter. Yeah. Wow. Samuel just letting me know. No hitter thrown in Major League Baseball today. Josh, it's been a long break. You'd better believe he's all over it. Knows the situation. Here, tournament director Mark Irwin in the background. Saying, if you've got any questions, come around the back here. As we get underway with number 11, Leon Guerrero back in the box. We've got runners in two and third after Guam's massive hit from Acosta into the outfield for a uh, ground rule double. Bringing the score, taking the lead with a 5-3 lead. A no, 5-4 lead, sorry, to Guam. Bishop, first base open. Hey, Wayne. Want to have things start to go against him early. So, beautiful pitch there. Technical difficulty with uh, our radar. 
It's been a long day for our production manager, John Mackay. Just running up, making an adjustment. And on the inside at 63 miles, Josh calls ball. Three balls, one strike. Bickett really wanting to find a zone in this, this batter. He won't want to load the bases again. Josh signals on the swing. 60 mile an hour. A lot of movement on that pitch from Beckett. Full count. Leon to go to make it a full count. 3 2. And here it is. And that is a walk. 64 mile in the ground. As the catcher just says, hey, let me just. Just check on our pitcher. Beckett. Ray Ray Parks up to bat. Beckett will be a bit disappointed there. Walking the first batter, left hander. See here what a beautiful day it is. Lloyd Ousmore Park. Flip Field. Home of, home of the HP Hawks. National champions. Just about all there was to win this season. That one is over the batter's head. Stacked as many teams as they could into Divisional 2, but they couldn't take that title. Central City Renegades of Josh, in some ways, appeared as though he just looked at the batter like, what are you doing, son? Don't look at that. Like the rest of us, Josh, Josh likes to see the batter swing the bat. And there's back-to-back -back strikes for the first time on the mound for Beckett, 61 miles. Another warning there from Josh, had a leaving the box. Yeah. Ray Ray really, crowd, really crowding that plate, he's on the far, as closest to the plate that he can go. And after the warning about leaving the box, Ray Ray Parks does it again. Says, you're not going to boss me around. That one. Oh, there we go. Ahead. I did think on the previous pitch he took a risk ducking. And sure enough, this time he ducks under strike three. Strike three. Sit the Guam team down, leaving runners on third, uh, second and third. Guam still happy with the inning. Taking the lead off, Indonesia, uh, off Korea for the first time this game. Um, but probably a little bit upset leaving those runners in scoring position, Roy. Absolutely. You know, load the bases, you like to do something with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They did initially with Evan Acosta thinking he'd hit a grand slam, but then they loaded the bases up again. Only to see Beckett get out of it. Now we go into the fifth. Guam now have the lead, 5-4. No home runs scored and uh, no ro home runs hit in this tournament so far. And with the win that we've experienced this weekend, uh, almost near impossible. But today, if it's ever going to happen, conditions are perfect. Great day for baseball, Sammy. Beautiful autumn day here. Auckland, City of Sales. Absolutely. Beautiful city that you want to come and check out. Plenty to do. You can be in rainforest one minute and 45 minutes later be down on a beach. I believe, uh, I believe the other night the Indonesian team went and visited the beach. Yes, I heard uh, they had a bit of a barbecue Saturday night and uh, went for a, a swim. It's not particularly warm at the moment. You wouldn't see many Kiwis in the water, but uh, Indonesian team, they're battlers. Indonesian and they team battled their way into the water. Went for it and uh, gave them something for that Sunday game. Of course, going uh, five hours against New Zealand. 
walking away with the win in extra innings. Giving New Zealand the third loss of the tournament. Here's Guam, so sticking with sticking with the original uh, pitcher, Time Malanga. Just going through his processes, but Josh just warning someone in the dugout there. It's a little centre fielder stepping into the box. One of my favourite players. Brings great energy to the park. That's on the outside in Hawaii. I know you appreciate his celebrations when he takes a nice catch, Samuel. It's an interesting uh, bumped start there. Now we've seen this a lot from him. Now look at him in the box there. Took the strike on that one. He's an aggressive little player doing everything he can to put the pitcher off. I love the fight that he shows. Choking up on the bat. Interesting there, you see. Batter trying to call time. The umpire does not have to give it to him. And ends up taking the ball. Oh, and there is another strike. I believe that is a 2 2 mile count. An hour fastball, I think. Batter there thought it was up in the zone, but no. It's a lead off ball. And takes Look at his hustle. Walk. Oh my word. We hear him screaming down on first base. Used to have a catch, uh, used to have a coach that say, said to me, you never walk on a walk. You always hustle down the line and hustle he did, Roy. Just confirming his position as one of my favourite players in this tournament, Samuel. Right, and we're back to the top of the order here. Number one, of course, the... Uh, we well, started the today's game as the uh, top batter on Seo Park. Of course, he was. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Guang Wan Park, sitting 660. Sensational batting oh, average. And that, that is one. a piece of it. Out, and that's still in field. Over the field the misses fielder. it. That's going to get first base in. Park. Just a bit slow around on second base. Maybe could have ran for third, but slowed down. Wow. That but ball was ripped, Samuel. Deep left center. Gone. Of course, that adding to his RBI tally and his average. So, in a tight battle with Acosta for uh, what you would think is MVP batter, both. Both topping the charts for RBIs and batting average as we see Beckett, number nine, coming to the plate. He has a go. Big cover that behind one. Him. Just hear the excitement now from this Korean team. Yes, of course, that run Roy uh, equalising the scores again. So Absolutely, 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five, and uh, Korea will just be happy. Runner goes. Big throw, throw down, down to third. third. Never going to get him. Not him. Park says, no, 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 oh. son. This space is mine. And you see the strategy there, Samuel. So, batter squares to bunt, moves the infield around, and just creates that opportunity for a stolen base. Cricket, one foot out, just taking some new orders from his coach. Yes, indeed, we see. Guam coach sticks his head out of the dugout, gives the instructions, and he's called the infield to play in. Now, I was discussing uh, Roy at the start before you were here. Guam being the representative. It's a big out there for Guam. Beckett striking out. Uh, 
Guam being the, the uh, representative team in 2022, but my memory wouldn't serve me on the last time Korea was the uh, Asia Pacific Middle East qualifying uh, representation. Did we ever find that out? Oh, that's big hit, that. beats the shortstop. That's going to bring the go ahead run in. He is happy, stomping all over home plate. And just a fantastic little single past shortstop there. Korea, of course, taking the lead again, 6 5. So, Samuel, to answer your question, Senior League, not a division of play that Korea has traditionally competed in. Obviously, uh, that is a big ball, pop up. Pop foul. Behind. So, Korea at this age grade have traditionally focused on high school baseball and not competed in senior league. Of course, they're a dominant country in majors, 12 and under grade. Very dominant in that uh, me in that dominant, sorry, very dominant in that uh, major grade, Roy, uh, quite often winning, always battling it out with Taiwan. And a team that generally goes pretty deep in the uh, Little League World Series over in uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Yes, the Asia Pacific Middle East region, whether it be Taiwan, Chinese Big Taipei. throw down at two, and he, does not get him at second, just dropping the ball, leaving it in the dirt there. So whoever it is that represents is traditionally a powerhouse. Many times dominating the world section and going on to the championship game. Runner goes. Runner goes to three. He could be caught here. And out on three that I believe is the second out for Korea. Now, of course, Korea taking the lead, so not in all, but I'm sure they would have loved a runner on third to get another insurance run. Coach, a few kind words to his player there. I'm sure they're kind. Interesting situation there, of course, because the batter was taking a walk. Korean coach looking to create that situation of runners on first and third. Is a 69 mile fastball for strike. He's been up to 71 in this innings. Still got a bit of pep on that fastball. Oh, and number 41 over on first base. Takes a jump before he realizes that ball's gone foul. See there down the third base line, umpire Paul Vodonovic. Showing off his lightning speed one more time. Yeah. Jaewon Lee connecting it. That's a pop up. No second infield fly rule across. like before. And second baseman gloves it beautifully. Great play by him. Big movement from him. Critical catch here, Samuel, with two out. The runner was going. That's cool as we see Guam come together again. I mean, hey guys, we need our bats to stay alight. Korea remaining in the lead as we cross over the halfway mark of this game. Indeed, getting themselves noses in front again, 6 5. This is a battle going on here, Roy. Going to go into the bottom of the fifth, anybody's game. Call from the Guam team sticks. Meaning get those bats moving. Add to their runs. One. 
Angels with their second win of the game, uh, second win of the year, Roy. Over the Marlins. Yeah, it's good for them to get to the two-win mark so early in the season. Bit of a surprise to most people. Yes. Expected to be a year-long battle between the A's and the Angels and the seller of the AL West. Samuel, on the other hand. Samuel always optimistic for his team. He won't quit on them. We see Guam now. Speaking of not quitting, they're not going to quit on this game. Only one down. No, as Beckett continues, a 61 mile fast. Just on the outside for a ball. Big foul back. Big foul from the pitcher. Time long low. Uh, yeah, we do have uh, a few problems with um, with our connection. So for those of you watching, not sure what's happening. Maybe one one of the satellites down over at top of us. Big strike. Tai Mongolo, Tai Mongolo. Unsure about it. Here's a quick look at uh, umpire Josh, but. Gets back in that box, ready for the next delivery. Oh. Nice so, hat defending his zone there, Roy. For those of you at home watching this, uh, if you've noticed a little bit of a drop in the quality of the production, I can assure you, production manager John McKay doing his best on the on the phone now. Trying to organise that satellite to get back up there. Another ball fouled off. Over 300 people joining us now, Roy, in this championship game that's just gone over halfway. So if you have just tuned in, kia ora tato, no mai, haere mai. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Asia Pacific and Middle East qualifiers for the Little League Seniors championship game between Korea and Guam. Korea with the, the lead. We will try and uh, figure out the resolution issue. It will be a internet quality thing, of course. Uh, oh, rip down the left field line. Big left field foul into the fans. So unfortunately, with the budget we've got for this production, there's not a lot we can do if we have internet problems. And I see a walk here. And that was a quality at bat from uh, Ty Malongo. Of course, you know, hit the ball when he had to, defended his zone. And left those that were low or high out of the zone and drew the walk. Try for a pick off a try for a pick off attempt on one. We do have traced Tiger on at that here. Takes the ball. Tiger on hitting uh, one ten for the tournament so far. Nine at that. Pitch way up there, very high. Beckett just having a second ghost pitch there, just trying to find his release point, find his control. Once again, getting told that we have problems with bandwidth here. 
So I think that one of our problems, Samuel, just hearing from the production crew here, is that despite many people being actually at the ground, that's a strike. Yep, big strike. A lot of people at the ground are still wanting to tune into your broadcast just to hear your dulcet tones, Samuel. Wow, wow, wee, wow. What I can confirm is. And a big hack there from the number seven. Coming over top of that ball. We'll do everything we can to try to get these bandwidth problems resolved. But in the meantime, he fouls that one off. John just fighting that zone. What I can say is, as well as broadcasting this live, we do record the game. And with that, we can post a high quality screen later on. I want to go back and watch it. Runner goes. Yep, one Doesn't in the matter. dirt for That's a walk, for. which is a bit of a shame after those three beautiful strikes from Beckett. And uh, Toby Run doing a beautiful job of just fighting it off for that third time. So in between yeah. batters here, we'll just. The quality slightly on these cameras and see if that resolves. Some of the blurring that we're getting. Do apologise. If you're on a big screen at home as we drop the quality of these cameras. You will run into a few problems with the picture, but if it resolves the blurring, allows you to see the game, then we're happy. So just another discussion with the, the uh, coach who's saying that this should be his second visit, not his third, as he's had a picture change in previously. Of course, picture change not counting as one of your visits to the mound. Umpire Josh saying, no, no, this is the third visit. Still free, doesn't have to replace his uh, pitcher here, but any subsequent visit now will result in the pitching change. Korean coach calling in his team as he as he likes to. He likes to have a teammate, not just a pitching meet, but a team meet. The team continuing to talk. Can confirm. Cellular coverage that we do have here at Lloyd Ellsmore Park can be unreliable and maybe we're just dealing with a little bit of that at the moment. Probably not helped by every parent in the place jumping on their phone to see what the complaint is around this blurry coverage. We see there, pick off move attempted. Even though time had been called, so ball's dead in that situation, Samuel. Oh, great pick off attempt at second there. Beckett, very uh, smart as play resumes. But, uh, oh, calling time here for the first baseman now to do the show. So, uh, slowing down the uh, pace of the game at the moment Roy. Yes indeed, four o'clock local time Samuel. So two hours, we're halfway through the game, are we looking at another blockbuster long game Roy? Oh, I don't believe so. Here he once again, the inside move, you see um, Josh Hands on, huh? Come on. Let's speed this up a little. Nice bump, the first bump up line. the first. Beckett. That is out, but does advance the runners to third and second. Of course, putting them in scoring position. Third base looking at home, but uh, well covered from the first baseman. Ready to launch that ball if needed. Brilliant baseball all around. Pitch a perfect bunt. Pitcher doing what he had to. 
recovering the cross. Now Correa will draw that and field in. Santiago taking the plate. Again, down and in. We've seen Beckett uh, struggle with that pitch. Korea desperate. Stop Kwan from scoring. Yes, after Korea's retaken the lead. After losing it before, they will want to keep their nose out in front in the 6-5 ball game at the moment. And what a situation here. Brown on second and third. First base open. Three ball count. But you've got weekly in the on deck circle. Oh, I wouldn't want to see him come up to bat. Absolutely, weekly can, as we know, deliver RBIs. That is going to be almost called that a strike before Josh did. <laughs> yeah, is that umpire and experience of yours coming out there, Samuel? And that's a nice little fight off from number eight, Santiago. There, you know a strike when you see it. Oh, that was a beautiful delivery. 63 miles on that one. You see Be Beckett working that uh, low 60s window at the moment. And Paul, Paul Vidanovic over there looking at the ball. Wanting to save his legs, not run after it like he did last one. Oh, that is a foul tip, <laughs> only just. Sounded like he actually hit the plastic tip at the tip of his bat there, Roy. You've absolutely called it perfectly, Samuel. That is the very definition of a foul tip. Korean coach barking orders. Korean coach here. I know what he's called. It's a, it's a foul ball and he's saying you have to go back and touch the bag. The player never went back, touched the bag. Umpire Josh just confirming. No penalty on that. Coach, as, as we mentioned, rule specialists, they uh, really like to keep the umpires on. There's a big hit from Santiago, it is up in the air though. Center fielder under it, easy, uh, easy catch by him. Into Becker, Becker into third. Josh calls third safe, but the batter is out for two down. Beckett will be happy with that. And great run in from, uh, from our centre fielder. Absolutely. Loving his energy. Got a quick jump on that. He was all over it. Never looked like that ball was going to drop. And it was far too shallow to ever have a thought about turning that into a sacrifice fly. Here we go. Intentional walk here for Weekly. Ah, you can see the coach really thinking about this game, wanting to keep that lead. And uh, as we've mentioned multiple times, multiple times we've mentioned that Weekly, very capable player, very capable. May not be leading in the stats, but uh, has come through clutch when it's counted, Roy and. Uh, here the Koreans issuing the first intentional walk of the game. I think that's possibly the first intentional walk of the entire tournament, Samuel. Oh, oh and there's a big hit by Alvarez. Out it. On the really just launching his support there uh, for a great Korean play. Massive hit from Alvarez. I believe it was Alvarez. Up that first baseline. Before three unassisted out at first, three three outside away, and we just see smart play from the Korean coach. The intentional walk. We've talked about it during this tournament. 
some opportunities for the coaches to make calls like that and they've let them go but the Korean coach no 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 and after the intentional walk we see the out Korean team fired up as they take the lead here into the sixth innings of this game, Samuel. Just two innings left. Absolutely amazing with Korea on six runs. Of course, losing that lead for a little bit before uh, fighting back another two runs in that inning there. As you mentioned, Roy, this is top of the six. So the sixth and seventh. I'll be hoping just to take on some insurance runs here, Roy. Korea just launching out in a USA chant. They know they are two innings away from going over to Easley, South Carolina to represent our region, the Asia Pacific Middle East region in Easley, South Carolina at the uh, Little League Seniors World Series. What an honor that will be. Of course, they'll be playing in the uh, brown and green colors of, uh, of the AP region. They'll be up against some countries like Australia, some American teams. World section, they'll have Australia, they'll have Canada, they'll have Latin America, the Caribbean. Of course, they're all playing their, uh, or they'll be getting ready to play their regionals and their uh, challenges so forth for their uh, regions now this is probably the first qualifier in the world for for this tournament Roy as we as sort of at the end of the summer where these guys you know the rest of the world are probably starting their summer absolutely Samuel so that's one of the interesting things with senior league so little league international making a decision that They'd remove qualifying games, which has actually allowed us here in New Zealand to host this tournament because baseball is still carrying on in a lot of these countries. Of course, here we are heading into autumn. Our baseball fields handed back, turned into rugby fields for the winter. Always a big disadvantage for us here. However, now to play a tournament in the perfect time of year and we've seen the advantage for some of these countries of coming in the middle of their season peak form yeah, you've got to love four ball here we are the start of autumn as we call it in New Zealand we're in New Zealand and autumn is what I call it Samuel struggle to uh, come to terms with Fall ball. All right, so it looks like Weekly taking the mound now, replacing number two, Time No Longer. Weekly looking pretty good up there, Samuel. He's yes. Mid 70s with his fastball. He pitched on Saturday, and so got a chance to uh, got a chance to check him out. Throws a curveball. Great control. Low 60s. Firing in that fastball. We're going to be uh, lead better this inning. Taeyun Kim. Josh still working through the changes. There's a lot of changes in these games. One of the things that does soak up a bit of time. Just waiting for waiting for Josh weekly gone through his warm-up now 74 miles as Roy said working that mid 70s window 
Once Josh is set, we sure will get underway. He'll wish you the one to go. Yep, one to go. Coming down. Guam now switching on. on that last warmer. See number 53 stepping into the box. Oh, I'm just coming together, getting behind weekly. Oh, a bit of brotherly love out there. Let's go. Wow, I'm really needing to shut out inning here to increase their chances. Weekly there, just asked to take off the little wristband that he had on. That is shows bunt, draws the ball. Fast ball on the inside, 73 mile an hour, just backs him up. Three. Fast ball, but low. Better there. Screaming the motion. Oh, and that's a big cut. 74 miles. Cut and foul. Josh going back to get it. Korea uh, deep in chant. Getting to come out and get the ball. No, no better on deck as no on deck better there, Samuel. Better's out there chanting. Do you have to love the spirit they're bringing to the game, Roy? Absolutely. Weekly just touching 76 miles there. Just on the out, just on the outside for a ball. There was three balls, one strike. <laughs> 53 telling them, hey, keep that chunk going. We just draw a walk. We've got a runner on base as they look for insurance runs here. He says, come on, boys, fire up, fire up. We're going to the US of A. Oh, at, this, at this point, uh, I don't think they'll be letting it get to them, but uh, they must be starting to feel it, Roy, with those USA chants. They must know what is on the line here. Pick off attempt at first, but easily safe. See, easily, easily. Oh, hey, hey. oh Samuel, stop it. <laughs> so James Sorry, here. Chad. <laughs> Jane here squaring up. Looking to bunt, looking to advance a runner. Insurance run, as you said, Samuel, would mean so much. And that is high over the batter's head for a ball. I think we'll see another square up and I think this runner will go for it. Yes, he's taking one. Pick off the air, we heard someone yell out, but uh, Cage, it wasn't, umpire Cagey saying, yes. no, no son, my call. It wasn't the umpire that, that called safe. out, that's the only one that matters. We've got one really squeezing that corner there. They draw another walk. A little bit of frustration coming from uh, number two, third baseman over there, Tom Malongo. So, what was wrong with that umpire? Of course, he had a great performance on the mound today. Yes, he won't be wanting to uh, see this game get away on them. Here's the bunt again, pulls back, takes another ball. Just struggling at the top of the zone there to issue his second walk, second, uh, walk of the inning. And here comes Coach Kevin, Coach Kevin Acosta coming out just to talk to his, uh, just to talk to his pitcher saying, hey, hey, hey. Umpire's not liking that high zone, you need to be getting it down. Yeah, 
Yeah, it might just be a little bit of adrenaline here for weekly. Blood pumping, excitement levels high. Tense situation. Speaking of tense situations, starting to cool down a little here. It is actually, I just saw my jumper and I thought, ooh, that could be good right about now. Runners in first and second, so uh, Coach Kevin Acosta just making sure that these runners don't get in. Well, I'm really hoping for an out at the next at bat. Kevin Coach. Oh, and it actually looks like Weekly has walked off the mound, and we're going to see Ray Ray Parks coming up. What a big change. Just not wanting to uh, risk it. So much on the line. Ray, Ray Parks there, coming in at 55 on his first warm up. That's such a big change. You go from weekly throwing 75 down to Rayshawn Park. 55, 58. Yes, now if, if I remember rightly, we did see Parks uh, throwing low 60s or maybe even a mid 60 on in the weekend. So just warming up. I'm sure we'll see him uh, get up there soon. Umpires and scorers, Whew, they've been kept busy this weekend. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, what a fantastic experience for them as well, right, Rory? Yeah, yeah. They'd be getting uh, some exposure to, to a higher level of baseball than they might get on their uh, Saturday or Sunday club games, and few uh, challenging rules that might get you scratching the old grey matter because you don't see them every week. So a massive learning experience for everyone involved here. Well as much as we like baseball Samuel, international baseball is next level. Absolutely. And you're right. There, there you go in the 60s. You're right it must be thrilling for these scorers and umpires to just Get the experience of international baseball. Yep. And of course, all volunteers. We've thanked them plenty over the weekend, but I'll always thank them again, giving up their time. It is a Tuesday here in New Zealand. No public holiday, so uh, they, this will be time that they're having off work at the moment to make sure this tournament goes ahead. So, big thank you to uh, all of those that have put up time for the tournament. Sean just continuing with his warm ups while Josh uh, tries to sort out the changes again. Of course, the, one of the challenges, Roy, is, is you just don't know the players like you do on a Saturday. And usually, when a team turns up, you kind of know who to expect. And here, this is the first time, of course, coming across these teams. Indeed, yeah. Usually you've got a good idea of who's going to be pitching, what they bring with them to the mound. Just here in the background there, umpire Josh, just confirming that he's got the right player at third base. Changes have been coming thick and fast, latter stages of this game. Game that was rolling along pretty quick earlier, Samuel. Now, mm, as the tension builds, as each pitch has just got so much more riding on it. Here we are losing a little bit of light. Not, not enough to threaten the play, but uh, definitely have lost that high sun as the players' shadows start to draw across the land. Oh, let's not talk about sunshine threatening the play that was controversy earlier on in the tournament 
there we go, number eight. In. That's out at third. And out on first for a double play. Five, three, double play. Just good, basic baseball there. Ray Ray Parks. One pitch, two outs. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This is what uh, Coach Kevin Acosta would have wanted. Needs to get out of here with no damage done. Rio, of course, winning their insurance runs. That is a strike for Ha. Maybe expanding a little. I thought it was up. I believe Hutt also thought it was up, but um, doesn't, less. doesn't matter what we think, Samuel. Absolutely. The only thing that matters is what the umpire thinks. That one, uh, similar zone, but a ball. a strike as well I think ha, looking at the coach wondering about his uh, wondering about the zone now he watched that ball go straight past his eyes as he chokes up the bat this time Does make it difficult when you feel like you've had them called outside the zone and a third strike swinging as Korea is sat down So Korea still in the lead with this one. 6 5. They now need to defend. Make sure Guam doesn't get any runs on the board. Looks like they're sticking with Beckett on the mound. Really? Korea will be frustrated with how that innings ended. They thought they were in a great position to score some runs. and. See that ground ball to third, step on his base, throw it over to one, two out, and then I'll be honest, I thought pretty rough couple of strikes called on the centre fielder, put him in a position where he had to swing at that last one, and he goes down swinging, and suddenly Guam's back out there, looking pretty, looking pretty calm, looking pretty casual, Just looking a local like the legend walking past Castle. Pinky, Andrew Marks. Indeed, Andrew Mark. Come over from the field house. Obviously, that's where you get to in Auckland here if you want to work on your batting. Got a variety of pitching machines. I think he's got four or five batting lanes down there, Samuel. He's got a pitching lane. Absolutely. It's a one stop shop for all your baseball needs in, in uh, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. City of Sales. Well, it's been paid for that advertising. That's great. Might just throw in another plug, as we were saying. Fieldhouse, they will claim a lot of credit for what the Korean team's doing here. They were over there in the batting cages earlier. Maybe getting a little bit of expert coaching from Andrew Mark. Uh, their, uh, their batting has been a light today. It's, uh, Put them in, in the lead as we get underway on the bottom of the six, and that is a big wild pitch by Beckett there. Because we've got uh, Evan Acosta leading us off, top of the order. Big bat, Evan Acosta. Almost put that one over the fence earlier. One bounce. the outside again. It looks like Beckett doesn't want to go near the power. No. Let's see if he uh, serves something up to Acosta. Beautiful pitch in on the, the inside. Even Acosta there. In the box rips that one foul 59, 59 
29 mile. 29 mile an hour and uh, Costa coming up fast on it. Struggling a little bit with the timing, slower pitching of course. Now we're on a 2-2 count. Two, two strikes. And that is a pop-up. Under third, under the pitcher. The pitcher is falling. And... Uh, a catch. Maybe look made it look harder than what it was. A fantastic effort though, backing up on it. Well, we'll just judge and... him on the results there, Samuel, and that's one out. That Once again, one out. Struggling a little bit with our bandwidth here. Uh, cellular coverage here at Fillette Field. Not the greatest, as we've already said. Leon Guerrero at bat now for a ball, 52 miles. As I said earlier, if your viewing is difficult, we apologise. Oh, and Leon gets all of it. It pops in but behind the shortstop there. Left field gets it, throws it in. A little bit of a dance there, seeing if Leon was going to go for it, but no, he backs up to first and says, I'm okay here, I'm okay. So the tying run now on first base, the go-ahead run at the plate, as we've got Ray Ray Parks in here. Just reminding you again, this is a seven innings game, so here we are, bottom of the sixth. Critical times. Great pitch there. Big strike on Ray Ray Parks who just left it looking. Maybe thought it was a little bit inside and as we've seen before, Ray Ray right on that uh, inside box, really crowding the plate. Runner goes. Ducks under it. No <laughs> throw on the run line too. Well, he had a throw but Beckett said you won't get in him and he just plucked the ball out of the air. One and one. Beckett delivers. Rip to second base. Ray Ray, a little fumble. Recovers. Gets first. 4-3 play to retire Ray Ray Parks. Runner does advance to third though. Guam will be feeling good. Two out of course. Let me see here. Korean coach out there. Oh, big change. What's he seen? What's he seen, Samuel? I'm not sure there. I did see he was a little bit slow on that uh, ball that went over shortstop there. Wasn't backing him up maybe as best as he could have. Of course, we have been playing for two and a half hours. Maybe feeling it. This is day five of the tournament, Roy. And uh, Korea, the Korean team obviously having to travel and uh, with a big time adjustment as well, 12 hours travel time, big time adjustment. So of course Guam now runner on third but two out. Korea just need to keep it tidy here, can't afford an error. That is a strike. Great pitch there. Bending that one into the zone. Josh agreed. Pulls the right one. Ty Munglo gets it, but drives it foul. Left field. Same as what we saw earlier. Yeah. His batter's just struggling a little with the lesser speed of Beckett up on the mound. Pulling the ball. Foul down the left field line. Yeah, 53 miles there. Uh, that uh, slow ball really uh, changing the swing pace of Guam, isn't it, Roy? Absolutely is. Ooh, that one high. Forcing the box out. Ty Malongo not liking that. Looking back at the pitcher. He hit with that classic approach. Slow him down, then try to speed him up. 67 mile an hour, that one. Big change. Now that he's sped him up, does he look to slow him down again? No. Oh, my word. Oh. 
Very close pitch. Yeah, the catcher just asking uh, why is the zone on that one? Close doesn't matter if the umpire doesn't like it. Oh, there we go, that time longer. Foul. That's going pop foul. Yes, right behind us, Roy. 66 miles now, so too slow, then he's gone fast. What does he do here, Roy? I think he'll potentially look to slow him up again. Drop that curveball in there. That's what he was looking for, but no dice. 54 mile curve, but that brings up the full count. 3-2 on this uh, at bat here, Roy. So decent at bat from uh, Tai Monglu. Let's see how he finishes this off. It's Beckett wanting to strike out, Tai Monglu wanting to hit. Oh my goodness! <laughs> nice pitch there from Beckett. I believe. Tough call. We're going to remain unbiased. Uh, that was a ball. Umpire. It's 67 miles an hour. Umpire Josh Gordon, and I believe just off the outside. Catcher had a conversation with him. To walk time along, though. There is a strike there on Tejeron. Can't deny that one. We now have this situation runners first and third. Interesting to see the player that play the career have on this. Coach just calling watch your lead. They cannot have bad base running lead to an out. There we go. What's the farm coach saying? Watch your lead, and there's that pickoff attempt at one. Just that casual little lefty, just step back off the rubber and. Flip the ball over to first, just keep him honest. Absolutely, so runners on on the corners, one in the scoring position at third. Has a look at a throw down, has to get around the batter though. Catcher, you see the catcher there going, really? Really? Is that just outside? Yes, of course it's outside. Just needing the one out to retire Guam. That one on the out. That frees up first base there in case of another walk. Runner easily taking second base, no throw. Absolutely. Obviously worried about that runner on third. That runner on third is long down, big lead. Okay, just taking his time there, Roy. Again, comes off, feeling the pressure. Looks to the heavens. Maybe praying for an outside pitch to be called as a strike. There we go. That is a big strike there. Much needed. Baseball gods there, answer his prayers. <laughs> I believe we have a 2 2 count here, Samuel. Is it a 2 2 count? It on top. Runners on second and third. Oh, and that is Trouble. fielded Trouble. Short. Bazooka from the shortstop. But the run comes in. He's safe on first. Oh, tags up at three. Gets the safe call. Safe call from Paul Sinclair. Paul Vodonovich. Oh, sorry, Paul Vodonovich out over there. And a runner scores to tie up the game again. Six apiece. Coach out again saying, really? Really? He called that safe over at third? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, so Korea still wanting, still needing one out. And that's a strike on the new batter. So they were just one strike away from getting out of the inning. Yes. Instead, now they're in a situation. Scores are tied. Runner still on first and third. Runner goes. The go, ahead, the go ahead run on third. That is their focus right now, Roy. We, they can't be letting him in to start the final inning behind. 
foul ball runner has to return to first. We've got a situation here. Two strikes on the batter once again. Just one strike away from getting out of the innings. Runner goes. Great pitch from Beckett, but Josh calling that outside. That pitch was well outside, although you hear the Korean team now feeling like they have to influence this umpire to try to get that outside pitch. That wasn't the one to do it on. Oh, what a great pitch. Great that strikeout. That is three out. We have a tie game going into the final inning of the game. Unbelievable baseball here, Samuel. Unbelievable. Still haven't taken the seat from the first pitch, Roy. It has just been absolutely sensational to watch these two teams. As tournament director Mark Earn would say, bringing the mongrel to this game and just fighting tooth and nail for this win and the chance to represent the Asia Pacific Middle East region at the Little League World Series the Senior World Series over in Easley, South Carolina. An amazing trip to be on and one that both teams are absolutely fighting tooth and nail for, Roy. Indeed. Such an honour for the team that wins this. And <coughs> couldn't have asked for anything more, Samuel. Going into the last innings, scores tied. Now, Roy, as you're... You've taken the New Zealand team over to Easley. You've been on that trip. What would it mean for these these teams? Obviously, Guam being a, a recent um, representative rep representative there in, in 2022. Korea, we think this might be the first time for seniors if they were to represent the region. What what, what would this mean to these teams? Well, Samuel, of course, coming from the small island nations that we do here in the Asia Pacific region just gives you an opportunity to see the scope of baseball, the scale of baseball, the size of baseball in America. Of course, South Carolina, beautiful fields there, games on ESPN. Teams will probably look for an opportunity, take the small trip into Atlanta, maybe catch a Braves game field that all of these players dream of one day playing on. Mm. They'll get to see the University of Clemson. Fantastic baseball facilities. Go Tigers. Valley of Death there in Clemson as they call their football stadium. 90,000 strong for college football. It really does open their eyes up to the opportunities that are available on this great great sport of baseball. What a trip. <laughs> what a trip. What a what an, uh, an an experience. One that would just create lifetime memories for these uh, for these kids. And of course an opportunity that you get well twice in seniors, isn't it Roy? You get to play the senior grade grade for two years. It is, of course. We go 12 and under as the major league, 13 and under, intermediate, up to 14 and under for juniors, and then it goes from 14 up to 16 and under for the senior league. So Samuel, of course, you've been a little league coach for some time now. One of the differences that we're likely to see in your experience, so if Korea take the league, do they have a closer in the bullpen as we see in the major league baseball? or? Does that not really exist in Little League Baseball? Well, every team is different, Roy, and as I mentioned earlier, if your pitches pitching, if your pitches pitching is working, you'd be silly to remove them. But I wouldn't be surprised if Korea has someone there, fresh arm, Beckett of course, going for two innings now. Has he got a third inning in him? We saw him struggling with that outside pitch, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Korea bring in a new pitcher um, for that final inning if they're leading. Strike one there for Ray Ray Parks. Falls in another strike. Two at 52 miles an hour. Of course, Korea would have been confident going into this inning. Top of their order. Number one. Number one on his back. Probably number one in the team. 
Well, number one in the tournament, Rui, with the uh, biggest batting average around. Acosta, Acosta from Guan may have overtaken him in this game. Acosta has had a has had a super game. That is foul. Big play from first baseman to try and record the first out. Doesn't quite get there though. Park, of course, he's done a lot for his team in this game. Started on the mound. Lead off better. Park started this game with 15 at bats, batting 667. 10 I believe and 15 this at is, bats, that's amazing. I believe this is his fourth at bat of the game. Could quite well be his fifth. And he'll be wanting to rally his team oh, here today. And what a great pitch. Big swing and a miss to sit down on for Park. Guan just celebrating. Ray Ray Parks kissing his guns. <laughs> we see Beckett coming into the box. Beckett's flashed some power really in this tournament. Beckett crushed a crushed a triple. She ended up actually scoring on on a fielding error. Beckett sees it, he leaves it. One strike. Ice in his veins, Ray Ray Parks. This situation not getting to him at all. Beckett sees it, swings, just fouls it off. Down the third baseline. Two strikes. Fascinating to see if Quam can get through this. Which team has the nerves? Which team has the composure? Which team's going to come through in the big moment? Beckett, calling time. Just thinking Ray Ray's taking a little bit too much time. Just trying to change up that timing. Beckett says, no, no. I'm going to take time and reset here. Josh obviously agreed. Of course, the umpire doesn't have to grant the better time, but... Josh understands the game, he knew what was going on. Beckett gets it, out to centre field, centre field of fielding it. And great running catch, What's, is that Willie Mays Hayes out there? It is a centre fielder for Guam, running that ball down, absolutely loving it. Wow. To see Beckett sitting down. He could hang his head after that, no need to do that. That was a superb hit. Just the centre fielder had the measure on him. Now Guam in a position, of course, tied game. Korea down to their last batter. Of course, Guam with the right to reply after this. Ray Ray just shaking off his catcher. Sees one he likes. That is in there for a strike. As you said, Samuel, one better away, and then Guam would have the opportunity to walk this game off in the bottom half of the innings. On CO Park, he'll be looking for his chance to swing. Started this game out on a 5 for 5 average. 58 mile an hour there from Ray Ray Parks. I see it ice in his veins, nothing gets to this boy. Down the third baseline, third baseman couldn't get a glove to it. And that puts a runner on base. Korea will be hoping this rallies, looking to take the lead again in this tie ball game at the top of the seventh. We look here as the coach gives us signals. Both teams sitting on a 6 6 score line. Add her into the box. Will Korea put the runner in motion? Coach calling out to his players, and here we go. Time called. Even Acosta now, catch up. Guam gets out, talk to his pitcher. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a great timeout. They were both really 
they were really uh, both focused on what the Korean coach was saying and of course you know hearing another language it can be off-putting at times and uh, they were looking at him they were they were I guess trying to listen to him and uh, they've just been thrown off Costa could see that and thought hey let's call time here let's reset Back off had it back easily always interesting to watch these left-handed pitches variety of ways that they can hold that runner close and holding them close it is it's a very short lead only about a stride and a half pitch off the outside corner and that's probably fair enough Beckett wasn't getting that pitch so now so all we ask for is consistency. If we look at the shadows on the field here, the sun has just come out from behind the cloud and gone straight into the batter's eye, who is really struggling with that. Holding his hand to his eyes, and that's going to be straight in the catcher's and umpire's eyes as well. Balls a strike on a 67 mile fastball. That sun is bright out there, Samuel, but I think you're slightly overselling the importance of it. It is in right field. If it was behind the pitcher, oh boy, we'd have problems, but... Kim now watching two strikes just sail past him. I think he was looking at One those in the... strike away. I think he was hoping that that runner from first was going to take off. Two outs for Korea, so they need something here at this at bat. Runner goes. Put it up and under the first and catch. Sitting Korea down on a tie game, 6-6. Six, six. Wow, we have an opportunity now. For this team from Guam, come out and walk it off on the bottom of the innings. Did you see this coming at the start of the day, Roy? Well, I think it's no surprise that it's a close game, and I did say that I thought that Guam was the team to beat. Korea's given them just about everything they can handle. And it looks as though... Re-entering their ace. Yes. He stayed in the game, so he's allowed to go back on the mound. Didn't get subbed off. So, Little League, Senior League rules, if a player gets subbed off the field, he cannot re-enter as a pitcher. However, he did stay on the field. Now, of course, he has to go through his... Is, uh, through his actions again to warm up and uh, I think that I heard them say that he was at 65 pitches which is why he couldn't go into catcher so he's got about 30 pitches left Roy. Yes and I guess if you were going to look for a closer this is the man you'd have to do it steps up there and straight away first pitch comes down 74 miles an hour Forty-seven pitches. Oh, okay. Seventy. Just being told by our producer to her left. Seventy-six pitches. Of course, uh, I believe it's ninety-five limit. Ninety-five, but that's not a hard limit, Samuel. So as he can finish his last batter as long as he starts that batter on ninety-five or under pitches. All right. So if the first pitch he throws to his final batter is the ninety-fifth. He's good to carry on going, but he'll be hoping that he can get through this innings quick, I'm smart. I'm sure he'll want some uh, some pitches in reserve to go into the tiebreaker if he does his uh, 
does his assignment this this inning here, Roy. We'll be going into the eighth inning for what I believe is the second time this tournament. We see here number nine batter for Guam steps into the box. Both teams in a good position in their batting order. Going into this final inning. Strike That's there. A strike. Big 69 miles straight down to get record the first strike. At the bottom of the seventh. And he just took a little bit off that, just making sure he started with a strike. Be interesting. Wasting to see. no time here. Just straight back on the mound. Straight back pitching down. Interesting to see how he handles it if he gets behind in the count. Oh, that's close. Maybe just low. 72 mile an hour now, but he's behind. Two balls, one strike. Beautiful pitch there. That is a beautiful pitch at 72 miles. The catcher just put his glove up. Didn't have to move it at all. Oh, oh, back up the middle, hits the pitcher. Is, that is on the Third shin. Third base across. Runner beats it out. Oh, oh this, we see him limping. This is going to be time, I imagine. This was a hard hit ball. Back on him. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, as we see a few tears coming from him, I tell you what, I would be screaming in agony receiving that to my shins. I don't think it's... That, I think he is just frustrated. He knows. He's the man that can shut this Guam team out and all of a sudden, that's in doubt just because of some bad luck. And of course, uh, credit to the batter. That was a great piece, straight back up the field. Samuel, we'll just see our uh, on-site medic here, Steve Penny. Big thanks to him, been here all tournament, had a bit of work to do, you would have seen him earlier in the tournament, the big overalls on as the icy cold wind was coming through this place, today he's getting to sit in the sun, hadn't had much to do before now but he's the one man in this park that we don't want to be busy, absolutely, at this critical moment. Santiago just going up to the pitcher just to say hey man, hope you're okay, he'll be happy, runner on base, a little bit of the old magic water, see if that can see him right, pulls that sock back up, I do have to say the Koreans always looking sharp in their uniform, Fantastic yeah, uniform, right down to the cleats. Yep, the old uh, three-quarter knicker bottoms, love them. Always looking good. So we won't really know the situation here until he gets back up on the mound and tries to throw a couple of practice pitches just to see if that leg's going to hold. You know he wants to go. Yeah, showing still a bit of a limp. Oh, we, half the applause was for the player, the other half the applause was for Steve Pierre here, doing his job superbly once more, always a smile on his face. Just coming over saying that was a life and death moment, lucky he was there. Once again out with the magic water. No, no change of pitcher yet. He's just going to have a few practice throws here just to see how that leg holds up. Of course, it, it is on his uh, front leg, so a lot of pressure on that that uh, leg landing. Absolutely, you plant that left leg down and you'll have some pain shooting through his shin. I think we just saw a little... Tip of the cap from the pitcher over to Steve Penny to say, you've done wonders. I'm good to go. Magic water. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, so of course a free visit to the mound. It's Korea 
already using up their visit allocations. Here we go with back at it. This is a new batter, so a uh, zero zero count. Of course, weekly up to bat, top of the order, run on, run, and that is the winning run. Risking anything. Tournament director Mark Irwin getting so excited about announcing the result of this game. Just had that speaker on. Oh, um, another pick off attempt. Umpire Josh just focused. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Like an inchworm, buddy. Yes, here, there. Weekly in the box telling his runner, get up like an inchworm, don't take that hand off the bag. Of course, Santiago representing the, the go ahead run, well, the winning run. If they get him around, he will be the, win the uh, winning run. This is a walk off situation for Guam. If they fail to score, it will be a tiebreaker, eighth inning. Of course, we don't have tiebreaker rules in the eighth. We'll we play uh, a normal inning in the eighth. Tiebreaker rules, including a runner starting on second, coming into effect from the ninth inning. Those of you looking on saying, how come he's picked off so many times? I thought after two, the runner gets to advance. No, this is not Major League Baseball. This is Little League Baseball. He can keep trying to pick off as many times as he wants. The runner inches forward. Goes back and all oh, that was close, but KG signaling there safe. Yeah, he, there we go from Guam, not wanting any silly outs here or what we call coach killers. Speaking of coach killers, Korean coach coming out. Wow, amazing. This critical time in the game, we're seeing a catching a, change. Maybe just a bit tired with those. I'm going to make a call here, Samuel. I believe that they're going with the catcher with the best arm. They think that runner's going to take off, and they think this young man who's been playing third base has got the best opportunity to throw him out. Number 53, Kim. We saw him pitching the other day. I think he pitched in that semi final. Of course, this will give the pitcher just a little bit more time to sort out his leg, although not showing any, any issues there. Up to 81 pitches now for the pitcher. Wow, so much tension going on here as we watch the. Watch the catcher just sort himself out. Vital piece of equipment going on there. I've heard it said a few times that you're better off forgetting the mask than forgetting that piece of equipment he's just put on. Absolutely. That would hurt. Coach, coach there just asking, can we get a warm-up pitch in? Josh, I think he's had enough today. He said no. It's five o'clock local time. Three hours into this no. game. Three hours, four minutes at this point of time, and here we play. Still a new batter, zero zero count. Be right there. They back, thought he was going to go. Back pick attempted, and when you hear the Guam supporters squealing, hoping their runner gets back in time. He does. He's definitely shortened up his lead this time, Roy. Two forward now. There's a strike. Oh, and it's a miss. Throwing the ball away. 
Oh my word. All right, one ball, one strike on the batter, and the runner advances on an overthrow at first. Samuel, that was a massive play. And I wonder if the coach is now regretting that change of catcher. Definitely this new catcher, aggressive. On this occasion, proved to be too aggressive, going for the back pick. Allowed that runner to move to second. That's a scoring position. Yep, runner in scoring position. Guan will be feeling this now. Pitch is oh, up. Oh, that is up high weekly. See him in the box it. there. Two balls, one strike. Yes. Guam coaches missed the fact that Josh called a strike on that one. Absolutely did call a strike. Always. It's a great approach from these Guam coaches. They get the explanation, they're happy with that. Back into the dugout. So I believe that gives us a three ball, one strike count, Samuel. I believe so. There's Weekly, that's a pop up. Is it going to travel? It is foul. Oh, almost taking out one of the spectators. Ball landing right on top of the Beck Korean dugout Beckett there. From first, running over, trying to make the play. Uh, just travelled a little bit too far right and out of play. Full count. Full count on Weekly. Weekly wants this after being intentionally walked earlier. And the runner will go on. No, it wasn't a full count. 2-2, ah, two, two, sorry there, viewers. That was 2-2. Two, two. Now we've got a full count. A full Excitement count getting now. to me. <clears throat> With the runner on third, of course the Korean infield has to play in. They have to get the out at home if that runner goes. Weekly probably knows a fastball's coming his way. This pitcher can't risk another curveball. It is a fastball. It's up and in. It's uh, 72 miles down there. Big, uh, big bat flip. Weekly looking at going, going to second. And he does go to second. Actually, a, a risky play there. I mean, he was going to get an opportunity to steal on the first pitch, regardless. Infield drawn right in. Nobody was ever going to be holding him or available for the throw down to second. Samuel, this tournament is on the line right here. Right, right now. Oh, and that's back up the middle. That a, that's a grounder. That's going to bring in one run. And the walk-off for Guam, who are going to easily South Carolina to represent the Asia-Pacific Middle East Region of Baseball to the Little League Seniors World Series. What a game. Absolute heartbreak for Korea. Absolute jubilation from Guam. Roy, could have we hoped for a better game? Amazing game, Samuel. It's what this tournament deserved. I'll tell you what. Jubilation from this team, from the little island nation of Guam. Come through, delivered in the key moments, and they've taken the final. Of course, recent champions representing the region in 2022. Missed out in 23, and we just just be so happy to be back in the winner's box representing the nation representing the region for 2024 of course heartbreak for Korea but monumental effort to take them right to the end to get into the final see the Korean team of course gathering out there disappointed 
course a shout out to our other two teams Indonesia and New Zealand Indonesia taking third place in the tournament and reigning champions New Zealand uh, coming fourth in the tournament they'll be going back to the drawing board and planning for next year but Guam just savoring the moment Coach Kevin Acosta was saying before the game, I asked if he was going to be in Korea this year, and he said, well, I'll let you know at the end of the game. So I guess I will not be having dinner with Coach Kevin Acosta in Korea this year, Roy. There it is, the Guam team. Guam will be going to easily. Absolute life changing for these boys lifelong memories being created first time in New Zealand for many of them I don't know if you heard many that call them. there Samuel one of the supporters we're going back boys we're going back we're indeed going they back. are going back to the World Series massive excitement for Guam so just wait here it's a Korean team Try to gather their thoughts after a heartbreaking loss. After this, there will be a bit of a ceremony. I see. To present the present Guam with the we'll congratulate Guam as the winners. Here comes Korea. We'll just stick with this three well, these two fine teams battled it out so hard. They line up. Once again, spirit of Little League right here. Very intense, very intense game. Right to the end, right to the eighth inning. Oh sorry, seventh inning. Guam walking it off in a walk-off fashion. Absolute devastation on these Korean players' uh, faces. Beckett really struggling now. Recompose himself. Smiles all around for Guam. See the Korean players devastated at that result. Absolutely. But congratulations go to Guam. Absolutely awesome. Well, we will leave you there, viewers, but a massive thank you firstly to all the volunteers, as we have thanked them before. We'll thank them again, right from the cooks in the uh, uh, snack shop. Thanks to all the ground crew, tournament directors, scorers, the umpires, and a big thank you to Roy for getting this up and running. And uh, Roy, are we going to be live for the uh, Little League uh, Juniors tournament in two weeks' time? Of course we will be, Samuel. All right. We will see you then, guys. And for now, good night.